Cessna said he's fine, so yeah, I'm glad he's made it because it'd be a good battle with him and Cessna. I'm quite surprised Perisic is not starting though, John, in a big game. Yeah, he's on the bench. So are Richarlison and Basuma. No return for Benton Kerr yet. So here we go, our fifth and final Premier League commentary match of this weekend, which features the leaders, Arsenal, having the chance to open an eight point lead at the top. But that chance is coming here at the home of their fiercest and closest North London rivals, Tottenham Hotspur. And uh, in the first half, Tottenham are playing from right to left as we look with the, uh, that massive south stand to our right and the Tottenham fans, you can almost see the songs coming out of that stand as you look at it there, stretching right back to the, the panels at the back of it. Uh, white shirts, the dark blue shorts and the white socks and Arsenal, as I say, red shirts with the white sleeves, white shorts and red socks. And uh, Tottenham with the ball halfway inside their own half. You're with us on Five Live, Five Live's Premier League Sunday, BBC Sounds and also the BBC World Service as well are with us for this commentary here in North London. Tottenham with a throw, Sessignon takes it, gives it back to Longley and then back into the six-yard box to Loris. It's played out from the back by Romero, that was cool. A long, low pass through his own half to Son, who gives it to Sessignon, who's away down the left-hand side and his cross uh, hits. Thomas Partey and bounces out of play for a throw. John, that's where he has to do better, Cessin. You keep talking about potential, potential. It's good play from Son. He has to get half a yard and get crosses it. That's why I'm surprised Perisic hasn't started because he's got better delivery than Cessin. Come on, you Spurs. Here's Saar playing it out to the right-hand side. That is a, a deafening version of the, the famous Tottenham song. Spurs with it on the halfway line. It's played across from the right to uh, Hoybier, who just angles it to Longley. Already there's Mikel Arteta, full of uh, instructions on the edge of the six-yard box, stepping out of his coaching area. And Arsenal take possession on the edge of their own penalty area. Ball played across, Granit Chaka knocks it back into the penalty area for Gabriel. Gives it out to the left-hand side to Zinchenko, who's leaned into by Doherty. I'm not sure there was much in that, but Zinchenko collapsed down to the ground and won a free kick. Yeah, no need for Matt Doherty. I know you can get involved in all the atmosphere and that, but you've got Arsenal penned in. You've just given them an re easy way to get out at the moment. But it's been a good start from Tottenham, and the fans, as we said before, John, have to play their part, and they are at the moment. Yeah, they are. The Arsenal fans down in that corner, actually, where Aaron Ramsdale's just trotting across to take this free kick in the Arsenal left back position all gathered in there I think most of them are standing up actually in that section around the uh, corner of the uh, of the stadium in the lower tier long from Ramsdale downfield Harry Kane gets a touch Hoybier then plays it forward but that's through the middle and that should be dealt with it is dealt with by William Saliba who's able to get there comfortably and uh, and Arsenal with it on the edge of their own penalty area Check out quickly put under pressure by Saar and Arsenal have to work it out to Zinchenko then it comes into centre field chipped across by Chaka here's Odegaard the Arsenal captain just takes the ball in his stride allows it to run to White that's good from White passed it beyond Son and then Saka runs into a crunching challenge that comes in from Longley Chaka though on the edge of the penalty area to the left hand side Martinelli into the box quick feet with his green boots tries to wriggle through and gets a shot in actually which hits Romero bounces down and Tottenham should get it away should get it away Saar receives it plays it up to Kane who's under pressure oh, does exceptionally well the England captain and is able to come away with the ball under great pressure and Tottenham Kane gives it to Sessignon Sessignon's early cross it's poor he miss hit it and actually he's rather fortunate that Tottenham win a, a throw in near the corner flag as it's cleared it's great play from Kane the hold up play is brilliant and it's again Sessignon down the left hand side he's got to have better delivery Son's made a great run in the six yard box he just wants you got to leave it in there and he doesn't He's got to miss that first man out, but good start from Tottenham. We'll uh, go back to Hamden once we get a chance, but Tottenham putting Arsenal under pressure here. Longley then turning it back towards the halfway line. Dyer gets the ball onto his right foot, have a look, has a look out to the right, then turns back to the left, and then just gives it to Romero, who puts his foot on the ball, 
Christian Romero, one of the Argentine World Cup winners. And now uh, Doherty will go all the way back to Eric Dyer again, who will first time touch out to the left-hand side. Antonio Conte has now appeared there, darkly dressed on the edge of the his coaching area, just a few yards away from the still gesticulating Arteta. Party bringing it forward for Arsenal, slips the ball to his right to Odegaard. Odegaard approaching the penalty area, now to the right-hand side to White, and then Sessegnon slides in with a challenge on uh, Ben White and concedes a corner, first of the match, it's and, gone to Arsenal. And he beats the ground, because he knows he hasn't started yet, Sessegnon. He's giving the ball away, his delivery ain't been good, but it's a good tackle. That will give him confidence, there's a slick move there. Odegaard to Ben White, and good defending from Sessegnon. Bukayo Saka, who uh, is not getting the warmest of welcomes from the, the Tottenham supporters down there. There's lots And of he's probably the nicest player yeah. you'll ever meet in your life. Yeah, isn't he just... <laughs> you know, I've spoken to him several times, mainly with England, actually. And uh, he is, honestly, I know people say it, but, but he really is. He has got such a disarming way about him. Anyway, he's ignoring all of that, which is just a few yards over the hoardings. And he takes the corner to the back post, but it's Tottenham who get ahead to it. Romero stretches, bounces down, and then that's hooked away. Spurs had everyone back defending that, so they haven't cleared it yet. We will go to Hamden when we get a chance, but it's a frantic start to the derby. Still nil-nil. Saka back to Ben White. White is looking for the ball, still the big men are up after the corner. He angles the ball to the edge of the box. Doherty is able to head it away for Tottenham. Arsenal take up possession again. The leaders currently five points clear at the top after Manchester City's slip up yesterday. But that's a misplaced pass forward. And Tottenham have it with Loris inside his six yard box. Just trying to clear it away. And he's quickly put under pressure by Martinelli. And Spurs struggling here. The clearance Longley has bounced across to Martinelli, who hooks it across the penalty area. And the shot from Enketia is saved by Loris. Oh, Spurs living dangerously here. Odegaard now in the D. Odegaard under pressure. And Spurs have finally been able to get it away. And that all came from a poor touch by Loris in his six yard box. Why do goalkeepers like to do that, John? Clinton, Just I don't know. Clear your line. Loris is not good enough with the ball back to his feet. But let me tell you something the chance from Enketia is a golden opportunity. He really should be um, scoring. The, the flick over the um, his head from Martinelli is outstanding. And Ketia doesn't catch it clean enough. But I'm going to give credit to Lloris because the save from that from Enketia is a really good save. But Arsenal should be 1-0 up. Yeah, he, uh, he redeemed himself with that save. And um, I mean, it bounced across. He actually had time there. I'm not sure he knew how much time he had in Ketia hitting it on his left foot. But shot straight into the ground and straight at the keeper. Yeah, it's a hard one because it's on the half volley and there was players back on the line, but good save from Hugo Lloris, but just clear your line. Right, what's the latest in the semi-final at Hamden? Ruddy for sight. We're into the final quarter of an hour. It's still Rangers 1, uh, Aberdeen 1, Bjorn Miyoski and Ryan Jack, the two scorers. Remember, if it goes to full time at this rate, it will be 30 minutes of added time and penalty kick. So one each at the moment in the semi-final. Yeah, for the right to, to meet Celtic in the final. Still nil-nil, Tottenham and Arsenal here in front of us under darkening skies. White to Saka, Saka back to White and White's cross under pressure from Sessegnon. Just didn't catch it really as he wanted to and the ball just scooped away up and over the near post and behind goal kick Tottenham. John, this is a proper game. End-to-end -end atmosphere is brilliant. Tottenham just nearly got in there with Son. It's a proper game of football at the um, moment. Really good, enjoyable. Both teams getting the ball down and playing, but Tottenham overplaying in wrong arm um, situations so far. So uh, Tottenham take this short goal kick across the penalty area to Longley, and uh, Hoybier bringing it forward, but he's dispossessed by Partey. So Arsenal are back at them, coming forward. Jack at Odegaard, Odegaard draws a couple of Tottenham men, finds Martinelli, Martinelli with the run into the box, knocked it round one side of Saar, burst into the box, fell over as the challengers came in, and Tottenham were able to clear. Bright, bright stuff from Martinelli. I looked at the ref there, he looked like he was going to the, put the whistle to his mouth, and then he realised Martinelli might have took a dive, but you're right, bright start from Arsenal, John. Yeah, Craig Pawson is the referee, and uh, Zinchenko with it on the left-hand side, back to Grant Chaka, Chaka to Partey, Back to Chaka again. This is all rather ponderous, actually. Party plays it through, and then in comes a challenge from behind 
from Romero. I saw Enketia in possession and he just dived in. Whether he got the ball or not, he certainly got the man and it's a free kick 25, 30 yards out. Does it too often for me, John R Romero. He's not disciplined enough. He, he's a centre forward you love to play against because you know in, in the end he'll get booked. He doesn't need to make the tackle. Enketia's going back towards the goal and now it's a dangerous position from Arsenal. Good football from Arsenal though. Yeah, the ball bounced away and Ketia, as, as Clinton said, is running away from the penalty area and he did, he got the ball but he came in at force, took the man as well and it's a free kick. So, good position, angle from the left, somewhere between 25 and 30 yards from goal. Odegaard is over this, the, uh, the Arsenal captain, the Norwegian Premier League Player of the Month, just named for that joint award, November and December. Arteta won the Manager of the Month award. Odegaard takes in the free kick, party with a header, but he's put it high over the top. And uh, he had Spurs players either side of him, and he got underneath it and headed it over by, what, three or four yards? Yeah, it wasn't, I don't think he was whipped in, it was more like a kind of a floaty kind of, not whipped in with any pace, it was difficult for Partey to generate um, the, the header, the power to get in, and it was over the bar, but good opportunity. Seven minutes played, five live, and the World Service on BBC Sounds 2, Tottenham nil, Arsenal nil, wherever you're tuning in, and uh, free kick on the halfway line for a challenge on Hybier by Odegaard, an aerial challenge. Hybier, when he went down there, he felt the force of that and he looked over his shoulder with a kind of look I'd imagine Clinton, you received several times over the years, <laughs> which was a just you wait, wait for the next one of those. Exactly. 80. <laughs> and the free kick is, is taken through for Tottenham, but all the way through to Ramsdale, who's able to come to the edge of the area, which is a bit of a wasted opportunity by Spurs. Just went to take the early one, but it didn't come off. Ramsdale was onto it. So Tottenham have to drop onto the back foot again, and Arsenal are bringing it forward with Partey. And that was a poor choice from him. Romero stepped in, and that. That looked like a handball by Partey, yeah, and, and Romero's running towards the referee, and, and I think he's, he's doing the uh, showing of the imaginary yellow card there, and he's it, wanting Partey booked for that handball, deliberate handball in the centre circle. It's a yellow card, John, but I don't like the players running around, because we can play when Arsenal players do, do it, Tottenham players don't have to, and Romero, needs, he can't run, he should have been booked on the tackle that he did behind from Enketia, so he needs to just be careful. It is a, it is a yellow card, though, it's a deliberate handball from Partey. Referee Paulson misses that one. Yeah, wind his neck in. I yes, think is the that's, phrase, the, isn't it? that's what I'm looking for, John. Yeah, <laughs> uh, so it's a free kick. And uh, do, do you know what? I think human nature, perhaps, maybe he would have, maybe Craig Paulson would have shown a, a yellow card there had Romero not run at him, yeah, waving not, his imaginary one. Yeah, him and four other Tottenham players. And as well. one or two, yeah, you're right. Yeah. No, he wasn't the only one, but he was the most obvious. Tottenham nil, Arsenal nil. And from that free kick, Tottenham have gone backwards. Kane, though, as they come forwards, tries to flick it on to Kulisevsky. I've not mentioned his name yet, Clinton. The uh, the great hope, the returner, after two matches out. That was the news that Tottenham fans wanted to hear, but they've not been able to get him into the game at all yet. In fact, it's all Arsenal in terms of possession. Party plays it square. Zinchenko is onto this. He's, he's in that sort of midfield position that Mikel Arteta encourages him to take. I don't think he, don't think he needs any encouraging to do it. He loves going in there, doesn't he? The... Uh, the position that he quite often played for Manchester City. Just to seem strange, doesn't it? That he and Jesus, who of course is out injured, are, are both vying with Manchester City for the title. In fact, obviously in a better position. He has Kane now on the halfway line turns, plays the ball across field. Kulusevsky chasing, but Zinchenko will get there first. He might have been fouled by Kulusevsky. However, the Ukrainian was able to find the pass in field to Gabriel. And so Arsenal will will bring it forward again. Not a great pace. They're just gradually moving it forward towards the halfway line. They're still inside their own half. It's slipped there by Partey. Almost let in Harry Kane, but he was able to recover. Partey plays it over the top. Saka running from an onside position. Bounces down into the fullback area. He's now into the box. Saka to the byline. Across to the near post. Oh, it's in! The cross! Laurie's got a touch on it. Just, just flapped it into his own net. It's an own goal. The Tottenham captain, the goalkeeper, not his first mistake this season by any extent. And Arsenal are in front. What a terrible goal to concede. Fingers pointing at the goalkeeper. 
and it's 1-0 to Arsenal. Yeah, we need to see it again, but it looks like our monitors are down. But from where we are, it does look like Saka. It's a great ball from Partey. The run from Saka is brilliant. And it, and Sessegnon just lets him go on his right foot. Once he goes on his right foot, it's either hit Dyer or it's poor goalkeeping from Lloris because there's not really an Arsenal player anywhere near it. But as I said, the TV monitors around us have all gone down, but it's 1-0 Arsenal. So Tottenham nil, Arsenal one. And Saka did ever so well the run. Yeah. You know, we've got a great position here. Yeah, great so position here running from onside. It's There's a great no run. And, and it is. Larice flaps it into the net. So it's another goalkeeping mistake, John. That's and a it, bad one. And that is a bad one. There's no one near him and there's no pressure. And he can just collect it and it goes through his hands and goes into the net. Poor, you don't need that in a big derby like this. Arsenal absolutely gifted a goal and Saka I mean the way they, they celebrated down there as Clinton says our, our screens here have, have frozen and you, you know they've frozen inside the Tottenham Stadium and it's almost like they've frozen with embarrassment at the goal that, that their team has just conceded so uh, I mean if you think back Loris, the, the goal that, that he conceded against Aston Villa yep. in, the, in the most recent defeat in the Premier League. I mean, that was a bad one. The, the, the shot from outside of the penalty area that he flapped. But, but this was a, a really awful mistake. He, he sort of went to ground and when the cross came over, he was not seen in the it. game, but it seemed to be like he scrambled, flapped his hands at it and it looped beyond behind him into the goal. Poor goalkeeper. And we're saying this too many times, John, now with Hugo Lloris with him making big mistakes in big games and costing Tottenham can't afford to go 1-0 down against a good Arsenal team he's got to do better than that he's the captain he's got to lead by example now has to get that out of his head and carry on going for the rest of the game so Tottenham nil, Arsenal 1 and Tottenham find themselves behind again the they've conceded the first goal Clinton now in 15 of their last 20 league and cup matches they're, they're the two porous. Yeah, I, I don't think defensively they're good enough and the goalkeeper at the moment is struggling big time, either with confidence and loss of form because he's nowhere near the goalie he was four or five years ago. Just getting a, a chance to see it again for the first time, Clinton. We've got uh, the pictures up to my left here. And uh, Saka, who, as I say, went took on Sessignon, took it to the byline, drove it across. And, and there. Loris, in an attempt to try and palm it away, as the ball's over the top for Tottenham, Sessignon chasing this to the edge of the area, defenders are there, he works it back into the box, it's allowed to run to Son, and the shot is blocked by Ramsdale, and we might have had another offside situation there, because yeah. Kulusevski allowed the ball, he was offside, allowed the ball to bounce through to Son, sort of hopped over it, and Son was in to shoot, but Ramsdale made the save. Yeah, different, tale of two goalkeepers, Ramsdale is in good form, because that is a good save, it's a good ball, and a really good run from Son, but really good save from Ramsdale. If that had ended up in the net, though, the question would have been, did Kulisevsky interfere yeah. with play even though he didn't touch the ball? Well, they can't rule that one out. No, they can't. Yesterday's one was much worse than that. Well, it was. <laughs> and uh, I think um, Aaron Ramsdale has, has saved us from yes. another 24 <laughs> hours of <Exactly. laughs> facing that one. Although uh, that debate, I'm sure, will we'll still rage tomorrow on the Monday Night Club with Mark Chapman and friends as uh, Kulosevsky puts in the challenge on the far side and Barrett, the ball's out of play for a throw-in to Arsenal who lead by one goal to nil, Hugo Lloris' own goal. So that mistake in the recent defeat against Aston Villa which, which opened the way really for Unai Emery's team to win that match. The, uh, the last home Premier League game on New Year's Day and then here again today, you know, it's too often, it's happening too often for the superb World Cup winning goalkeeper, the French international record cap holder now for, for France. But, you know, it, it is such a bad mistake that in a game like this. Exactly, and you, you, you always say keep it tight and don't concede. And, and that it, you can't legislate for that, John. It is a mistake, everyone makes a mistake, but as we said, he keeps making too many of them at the moment. So Tottenham nil, Arsenal won. And Arsenal, the leaders, you know, when you're at the top of the table, you need breaks like that. It's funny how, isn't it, when you're at the bottom end of the table, that it goes the other way. But Tottenham playing the ball back to Loris. 
The Arsenal fans at the other end are onto him. This time he's able to chip it away. Of course, he'd already had one up. Difficult moment, haven't he, with the ball at his feet as uh, Longley puts in the challenge. I thought that might have been a free kick for the challenge on Nketiah. However, the ball bounces to Arsenal again. It's Saka. Saka across to Nketiah. Nketiah pulls it across. Half cleared. Ball still in the six yard box. And then it's left footed, cleared away by Dyer. Arsenal come again. Tottenham are, are reeling here. Poor pass square from Party, but he's fortunate. It bounced back off Kulisevsky. Arsenal still coming forward. Tottenham fans fearing the worst here. They need to fear the worst, John. If they get a second one, this could get this could get really silly because Arsenal are dominating. Tottenham can't get a hold of the um, Langley. The left side is centre off. He don't know what what day of the week it is. Getting too tight, getting rolled by Odegaard and Saka. They have a problem down this left hand side. Sinchenko, I mean they're being dominated by Arsenal here in their own stadium and uh, if it carries on like this well, if it carries on like this Arsenal will win the game and you can just imagine the reaction, you can imagine the phone calls to Robbie Savage and Chris Sutton later, the kind of things that the Tottenham fans will be saying Spurs, who, you know, have have struggled here in, in recent times, their, their recent results here, on their home patch they've lost three of their last four at home in the league and that was after a run remember when they won 10 matches in a row here in all competitions confidence thing whatever it is and we've heard uh, Antonio Conte at length haven't we with his view on what he feels is the issue Son inside his own half took a heavyish touch almost landed it at the feet of Saka was able to recover play it back to long lane Hoybier might be being fouled by Odegaard, the referee, Pawson allows play to continue, gave Tottenham the advantage, Son knocks it across to Kulisevsky, Spurs now looking to Kulisevsky to try and bring them some sort of inspiration, Doherty on the right hand side, back it comes to Saar, Saar on his first Premier League start, square to Hoybier who hits a shot, that cannons into the chest of Partey and the ball bounces across to the left hand side where Arsenal are able to get it away through Zinchenko who does well actually beats a couple of men he was being pulled back there as well by Kulisevsky Arsenal move continues Zinchenko slips it forward he uh, managed to get the pass in before the challenge came in now in Ket yeah, to the right hand side to White Saka is onto this Tottenham are struggling again Saka back to Odegaard on his left foot shoots and it's good save this time by Lloris for a moment there I have to say I thought it was through his hand and into the net but he pushed it wide yeah great good save from Hugo Lloris because he just made a huge mistake but that that is the best of Hugo Lloris really good save from Odegaard Tottenham look all over the place at the moment John and and Arsenal look so sharper than Tottenham Tottenham look leggy like the game is in the 90th minute at the moment all Arsenal pure domination at the moment but I mean Arsenal are first to everything yeah they are and that's what I mean they look like they can't get around yeah. like they've been playing for 90 minutes it's only 22 minutes gone Arsenal too quick too sharp too slick and uh, a corner for Arsenal from the right-hand side. Saka again to take it. 1-0 Arsenal lead already. Saka swings it into the six-yard box at the back post. That's headed away. Romero comes out to Kulisevsky, still inside the box. Zinchenko putting him under pressure. And it's hooked away out of play where Arsenal allow it to bounce out for a throw-in. 12 or 13 yards back from the corner flag. This Arsenal pressure is intense. We'll be back to Hamden in a moment. It's still Rangers 1, Aberdeen 1. After the two earlier Premier League matches, both commentaries on Five Live and Sports Extra finished 1-0 to the home teams. Narrow wins for Chelsea and Newcastle. Throw in then for Arsenal. Partey takes the long throw. Kane was able to head it down back out towards Partey, who uh, pulls it under his right foot. In comes the cross, that's headed away by Kane. Headed back in by Zinchenko, nodded away by Longley for Tottenham. But Arsenal take up possession again. This is this is a really tough watch for the Tottenham fans here inside the inside the stadium as there's a heavy touch now by Son that carries the ball out of play for an Arsenal throw. Arsenal all over them, Clinton. Yeah, and this happens too much with Tottenham. And Conte has to take credit for some of this because his team start too slow. And it's not the first time we've said it with when Tottenham have played lesser teams. And then all of a sudden they can come back. But this is a different team that they're playing with Arsenal. They have to start the games quicker, John. This is the confident Premier League leaders. Ball across to Partey. Partey now to Saka on the right-hand side. He's in the box again against Sessegnon. Right-footed cross. Martinelli with a... Oh, what a kick goalwards that was from him. A sort of backwards flick. And then Partey with a shot that cracks the bar and comes straight out. And Tottenham survives somehow. 
somehow. What was that flick from Martinelli at the back post? Oh, wow. Slightly behind him, and he flipped up his heel and, and sent it across the six-yard box. Tottenham were able to clear, and then that shot from Partey. <laughs> oh, what a rocket. It's unbelievable play for Arsenal at the moment. Saka does well down the right-hand side. Martinelli does like a flick, like a scorpion kick. Remember when Giroud scored one of those and it, it, it was cleared and Ketia was nearly in it. And then the shot from Partey. The post is still shaking now, John. It was a fantastic um, shot. And let me tell you something. They score a second. These fans are, these fans are going mad at the moment. You know? Tottenham are still shaking. They are shaking. They're reeling, to be fair. And the uh, Saka has gone down. That's a that's a foul. That's a free kick to Arsenal on the right hand side. Saka's down. So while he's down, let's get back to Hamden and Roddy for side. One each still between Rangers and Aberdeen. It's gone into injury time. Eight minutes of injury time. Remember, Rangers scored twice in seven minutes when they met three weeks ago. But the Aberdeen captain Stewart has been sent off for a wild tackle on Sakala. So Aberdeen down to ten men. And remember, if it stays like this at the end of injury time, it's going to 30 extra time and penalties if necessary. Yeah, ten, ten men possibly into extra time for Aberdeen. That was, that was not a great challenge, by the way, by Sessignon on Saka. It's quite a high foot, yep. caught Saka, and it's only a free kick. He didn't show a yellow card there, did no, he? No, he didn't. I didn't see no yellow card because he got away from the could, scene really quickly. Could, could have been. Could have. Should have, probably. Yeah. Free kick then, Odegaard, and... Uh, in a metaphor for Arsenal, Odegaard runs his fingers through his hair in a confident style, almost as if too easy this. Takes the free kick in, headed away by Tottenham. Uh, Saka is sent sprawling, no free kick this time. And then Saar beats Chaka and, uh, and leaves him on the ground. That is a, a small, a tiny victory for Tottenham. That little shimmy from Saar. And, and really, Spurs are, are fortunate still to be in this. Yeah, you're right, John. And, and the fans are getting frustrated and infuriated because the build-up play, they're trying to play out. Go forward. And that's what they want to see, a bit of passion. It's a North London derby. Arsenal. Having to defend. High ball out to the right-hand side, but Doherty loses out to Zinchenko. And then uh, Martinelli's claiming that he was fouled there. Referee Pawson says, no, he wasn't. So Tottenham have the ball back and, and Mikel Arteta comes forward and points and jabs a finger at the fourth official Darren England and demands to know why that wasn't a free kick for the challenge on Martinelli Arsenal lead through uh, the Hugo Lloris own goal really bad goal if you've not seen it if you've just switched onto us on five live or the world service Saka near the byline on the right hand side drove the ball across and, and Hugo Lloris in, in trying to push it out palm it out succeeded in only in getting on all the wrong sort of contact and the ball actually went behind him and looped and landed in the back of his own net so on goal Kane with a cross for Tottenham blocked back to uh, to Spurs and Doherty now Saar plays it across to the left hand side Longley lifts the ball into the edge of the box but that's headed away it's been so easy for Gabriel and Saliba you know they've uh, they've had next to nothing to do they've been spectators at one save from Ramsdale. Here's Sessignon down the, down the right-hand side, but there's Inketia back in his right-back area, putting in the tackle to knock it out of play for a throw-in to Tottenham. That's the, that's the moment that, that Tottenham have had when Son was in, right side of the box. But Ramsdale did the very opposite of Hugo Lloris at the other end, made a very good save. And so, 1-0 it is. Really, that's the, the only threatening moment, I think, that, uh, that Tottenham have been able to put together because Arsenal have just dominated it. 25 minutes played here. Dark skies above now. Coolish afternoon, actually. Tottenham nil, Arsenal won. And Arsenal winning it back is after it bounced away from Kane. So here's Partey. Partey finding Saka. Slick pass again. Saka twisting inside the box. Long lay, still Saka, falls, slips as he plays it across and that meant that Romero was able to, to head it away quite comfortably. Can't deal with him, John, Saka, causing Long lay and Cecil Young all kinds of problems. They don't know which one should pick him up. His movement's good, Partey keeps picking him up. Saka started the game really lively on this right-hand side. Yeah, he's done well since the World Cup. Two goals in his four appearances since he came back from Qatar, where he did score three goals, remember, at his first World Cup for England, was the star man really wasn't he against yeah, he France was. until uh, 
Yeah, I don't but, know why he took him off. Well, Strange one, John. Yeah, but uh, that's for another day. <laughs> yes, well, I did have the feeling that he, that he, you know, if you remember, he'd been on the wrong end of a heavy challenge and he looked yeah. as though he was struggling. Oh, fair enough. But I, I, I don't think they ever actually said, Gareth Southgate, that he was injured. Uh, Saka now again into the action on the right-hand side with White, who is playing a big part in this as well, the right-back. And here he is again, White, heading it forward to Saka. White once more nods it down. Saka has a little look in field, plays it to Enketia. Eric Dyer steps forward this time. Dyer then is, is, he shows his frustration there at the way that, that Tottenham just can't deal with this. To be, to be fair, like, go, uh, I'll see, uh, tell you after the attack. Yeah, me? White on the right-hand side. Here's the ball in. Chested down by Nketiah, who then keeps it in. Bounced away towards the dead ball line on the right-hand side. It's almost exclusively come down the right-hand side as well, which is handy for us, because we're looking right <laughs> down on it. Here's Odegaard turning. Hoybier in with the challenge. Odegaard takes him on, but Hoybier this time is able to come away with it. But that's a heavy touch from Kane. However, he's able to follow it up. Tottenham still pinned in into their defensive third. Kane's hit a long pass downfield, but that's just too hopeful. Zinchenko, easy, came across, said thank you very much. Arsenal back on it again. It has the feel that a second goal is almost an inevitability. Yep. Saka again on the right-hand side. They know where the danger lies. Everyone knows. Saka just puts his foot on the ball, plays it back in field. Back it goes to the halfway line faint calls of Arsenal, Arsenal drifting across from the far side of the stadium, they must be loving this, and at the, moment, at the moment in the game, Tottenham just need to stay in it, they need to, yeah, to they stop that second goal. You're right John, but they can't get out, even when they win the ball they're just giving it away, no one's confident in possession, you saw Harry Kane trying to defend in his six yard box and pick passes up, it must be so frustrating as a centre forward in this team, Might and be. let me tell you something John, if it stays like this, I wonder if Conte can make changes because I've seen other managers do it because it's not working at the moment. Before half time. Yeah. Saka taking on Cessignon, but Cessignon has been able to put in the challenge. Otherwise, Saka would have been away there. He had a lot to do. Tottenham, Hoybier playing it across to Kulosevsky, but that's poor from Kulosevsky. Headed away by Daya. Now it's Gabriel bringing it forward and Ketia. I think he was caught by Romero. He was. And Romero pleads that 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 wasn't a foul but I think it was Pawson spotted it free kick to Arsenal back to Hamden ready for side one each at full time and that's including the eight minutes of injury time so it goes to uh, extra time the Scottish League Cup semi-final between Rangers and Aberdeen one each Mayovsky scoring for Aberdeen and Ryan Jack equalising for Rangers both teams hitting the post nothing between them at the moment but Aberdeen are down to ten men because they've lost their captain Anthony Stewart to a red card one each uh, thank you Roddy Almost half an hour played here. Five live in the World Service from the BBC. Listen as well to the live radio via BBC Sounds, via the app. And Arsenal with the free kick. We've already had one from this sort of position. Odegaard left footed, plays it in, headed up and away by Dyer, and then headed back in by Zinchenko. Loris comes, leaps high, gets the catch, then goes for the delivery downfield. This is Kulosevsky who's chasing this. But he's got uh, Arsenal players either side of him. Ben White puts in the challenge. The ball bounces out of play and that was off Kulosevsky. And it's a throw in to Arsenal. The only thing that's missing for Arsenal from this performance is a second goal. Oh, 100% John, you're spot on because they've, it's been pure domination. Tottenham for the first five minutes started well. This is ridiculous. I've never seen a game like this where it's so one way and dominated against two really top ties and in the North London derby. You need someone either to make a tackle and get this crowd going because this Tottenham um, crowd at the moment are so quiet and that's where you need these fans to get behind you because it's difficult. But you have to give them something to shout about and they're not doing that at the moment. In the uh, WSL, which is resumed this weekend, Leicester, 3-0 uh, winners against Brighton. That is full-time. And uh, West Ham against Manchester City kicks off at 6.45. And... Uh, We'll have commentary on Sports Extra. Free kick to Arsenal inside their own half. Uh, more live sport on Sports Extra tonight, by the way. The uh, NFL playoffs begin with uh, our commentary, New York Giants at Minnesota Vikings. So that is Minnesota Vikings at home to New York Giants. Never quite sure why it's different, but yeah. anyway, there'll be a reason for it. 
Romero again, he's going to get Romero, booked. Fat, that's a foul on Martinelli. There's the yellow card. Well, he, he wanted party booked. Referee Pawson didn't book him earlier in the match, and now Romero has picked up the yellow, and that's accumulation as much as anything else. I think that's his Every third Every game, challenge. John, I watch him, he does the same thing. Same thing, he wants to go in, he wants to compete. when He, he does not need to go in now. Martinelli's played the ball five minutes away. Now he's on a yellow card for the rest of the game, and there's still loads to go. He does it too often. Tottenham nil, Arsenal one. So free kick, and it was, you know, only seven or eight yards inside the Tottenham half. Zinchenko uh, will leave this. He's going to leave it to Gabriel, who comes up, left-footed, lifts the ball to the edge of the area. It's bounced all the way through to Loris, who's able to come and gather it beyond the penalty spot. And uh, and Hugo Loris wanted to get rid of that quickly, but Eddie Enketia was was hovering around. So, uh, in the end, he had to wait and wait, and now he's sent one through the middle for Harry Kane to chase, which was easily headed away by Saliba, and it's made its way forward towards Saka, and Saka now running free, giving it square to Odegaard, left foot shot, low, and in, it's 2-0! And the Arsenal captain forces home his team's advantage in this game! They deserve it! They deserve everything they're getting here! 2-0! And I don't know if these fans are leaving already, but it's not half time till 10 minutes and they're already certain Tottenham fans going. But the goal's brilliant, to be fair. Lloris, no one wants the ball at the back. He has to end up going low. Harry Kane's against Saliba and, and Gabriel. They win the first header. Partey's picked up the ball the whole time, plays it to Saka. He's against Longley. Longley don't want to come out. Ball into Odegaard. The finish is brilliant. Not one midfielder or defender goes engages with Odegaard. Brilliant finishing into bottom corner. I wouldn't say game over yet, but it's getting close to that stage, John. Tottenham nil, Arsenal two. And Martin Odegaard, he'd already had one effort from that sort of range. And Loris was able to save that one, but this one was low. And it took a couple of bounces. It was pinpoint, diving to his left. He couldn't get there, Loris. Tottenham nil, Arsenal two. And really, it is very, very difficult to see Tottenham coming back, and particularly against Arsenal, with their tails up. And I was at Old Trafford yesterday, you know, and, and when Jack Grealish scored that goal, Manchester City were threatening a second goal in the match there, and, and if they'd been able to score it, then that probably would have been Manchester City's day. Yeah. But they they didn't, and Arsenal have. Still look, still over half the match to go, though. No, they're still, you always say 2-0 is a precarious um, scoreline. You still, it's the next goal that's the important one. Arsenal go and get that, it's game over, but Tottenham will have a chance if they can get the next goal in this game. But, I mean, my feeling watching this is that, that Arsenal won't let up here. They'll be going for a, they'll be going for a third. So 2-0 it is. I think you're right. I think, I mean, it's near half-time. Ten minutes to go to half-time. Maybe those Tottenham fans who are streaming up the steps are just off there to... And you, you can get drinks inside the yeah, Tottenham Stadium can. very easily. Not, not very cheaply, though, I think. <laughs> but that might be where, where they're heading. Yeah. And you can understand it after watching Arsenal do this. 2-0, going, going on, 3 or 4. Yeah, you're right. I think the manner of it as well, to see Loris make a mistake like that. Yep. And, uh, and then the Arsenal captain, you know, the new star, isn't he, over on the other side? scoring his eighth goal of the season I and mean, he's been brilliant this season he's been the he's really turned into the star that he was destined to be from his his days as a young teenager Martin Odegaard he's a, he's a lovely player to watch although he shrugged off the ball here by Longley uh, Son now uh, Hoybier works it through to Son who plays it through the middle to Kulisevsky but this time Gabriel was in quickly and Zinchenko now bringing it forward and trying to find Saka and Saka took a touch but Sessignon was there as well and Loris was able to come and clear and Saka involved in those two goals, both goals for Arsenal Yeah, you're right, he's, as, as I said, he started ever so well Saka and he, he's been brilliant to be fair, but Tottenham are struggling, even Son Son there on the ball, giving it away too easy and they're just in their shape though and they get in their shape, but even though they're in their shape, John Arsenal is still opening them up, so why don't you come out of that shape and see if you can try and get a goal back? Because the more you sit back, the more Arsenal are dominating possession and will go on and score a free and maybe a fourth one. Tottenham nil, Arsenal two.
There is another 6.06 tonight. The Five Live Football phone in with Robbie Savage and Chris Sutton. It's going to be full of Tottenham fans at this rate. But uh, Spurs, as I say, still with half of the match to play with. But they're going to have to produce uh, quite a dramatic transformation to get anything out of this North London derby. Zinchenko inside his own half. Gabriel. Uh, they need a... They need a big increase in performance and maybe some sort of unexpected break, it feels. You know, it's just something to, to turn the match a little bit like Manchester United with what happened yesterday yeah, but at that, Old Trafford. You're right, John, but that's where the manager has to get involved. Conte, he's an experienced manager. That's what he's paid to do to make the big decisions. Can he make a big decision? He hasn't yet, because I would have made a change. I would have definitely have changed something because that, that was on the wall, um, that second goal, it was coming. Richarlison is uh, is back on the bench. Perisic is there as well. You wondered about him being left out, but here is Saka again. Saka running at Arsenal and Ray puts in the challenge. That's a foul. He just stepped into him and blocked his progress. Down went Saka, and this is a free kick near the right corner of the box. Eric Dyer comes across to complain about it, but. Um, I mean, Saka, they just cannot handle him. No, he's he, been, just, he just blocked him yeah, off. He's been the best player on the pitch. Odegaard's been brilliant as well, but he, for me, everything's come down their right-hand side, and Langley and Sessegnon have not dealt with him at all in this first half. Into extra time at Hampden, and Roddy for Scythe. There's a goal for Rangers, an impact sub, scoring it, and, and Kemar Roof, the man who came on. Rangers struck the crossbar with a deflected uh, shot from Tavernier, put a corner kick from that. Roof has scored, and so it's now Rangers 2, Aberdeen 1. Free kick to Arsenal then. I mean, 3 0. If they were able to get a third goal, that is it. And uh, and this one is, is very much right of centre. So Odegaard is, is looking at this on his left foot. He's already banged one in from, what, 23, 24 yards out. And uh, the number eight for Arsenal who has just scored in this match his eighth goal of the season. So he's, he's Arsenal's leading scorer now in all competitions this season. Odegaard is, is standing over this. Arsenal have, have put up a three-man wall in front of the Tottenham five-man wall. So there are two white lines there for where the players have to stand. Odegaard with the free kick. The Arsenal wall moves out of the way and the ball hits the Tottenham wall in the, in the chest and bounces away and Tottenham are able to clear it. It's, Arguably one of the least impressive things that Arsenal have done in this first half. Uh, Tottenham, Arsenal fans, Tottenham fans feeling that Martinelli might have been fouled there by Doherty, but wow. no free kick. And, uh, and the ball rolls out of play in the end for a throw to Arsenal on the right-hand side. I don't know what Kulisewski's doing, it's a simple... The whole team are rattled at the moment. Conte needs to get them in at half-time and do something, because at the moment, <laughs> it's a big struggle for Tottenham even to find a five-yard pass. They're all over the place at the moment. But it, it, the team's workman like though, John. It, it's got superstars in it that can create chances, but that's the way An Antonio Conte sets up. Where Arsenal, on the other hand, they've got good players as well, but Arteta wants to play on the front foot. Tottenham at home, and they're always defending. And that's not in this game, that's in a lot of games I've seen. Arsenal coming forward on the left-hand side with Chaka, his cross. That's cleared away, comes back to Tottenham on the edge of the box. Romero rolls it back to Doherty Martinelli is putting him under pressure Arsenal really making this tough for Tottenham and then Kane is is, is challenged and fouled oh, I'm not 100% sure about that the, uh, that was a generous one wasn't it Jim? Gabriel he took the ball I mean yeah maybe he took Kane as well but it looked like a good tackle to me actually but Tottenham got the free kick Full time in the in the rugby union. This is in the European Challenge Cup. Bath 23, Toulon 35. Uh, more reaction uh, to come at half time on Five Live to uh, to Chelsea's win against Crystal Palace. We've already heard from Graham Potter. What a relief that was. Kai Havertz scoring the winner. An emotional day, Graham Potter said. Long forward from Tottenham, but that will bounce through to Ramsdale, who's actually going to allow it to run and then actually scoops it up. And Newcastle winners against Fulham by one goal to nil. That was that was eventful. You you I listened to the to the end of it. You you yeah, watched it, Clinton. The, the controversial oh. penalty that was uh, ruled out. Mitrovic scored it, but one of those double deflections, which was well spotted by the officials, so that was disallowed. And then Isaac scored the winner. So Newcastle are back up to third. 
and the leaders are looking at an eight point lead 2 0 up on Tottenham here and winning a free kick 10 yards inside their own half so the Loris own goal and Odegaard with a well struck shot and it's Arsenal fans there they're celebrating in the corner they're jumping up and down ole ole twirling their red and white scarves and this also is tough to watch for the thousands the many thousands of Tottenham fans as Eddie Nketiah beats a dire to it in the centre circle and now Martinelli sets off forward Martinelli across towards Party. Party, I think was tugged back there by Kulusevski but kept the ball so uh, Arsenal still have it Party. low ball across to the right hand side White now to Saka one of the danger men Saka they've got two men on him now Son comes back White across to Party. Square again Zinchenko Zinchenko takes it on Martinelli <laughs> two minutes of added time uh, and then Martinelli's ball to the edge of the box is cleared away and, uh, and, and Saar is shrugged off it oh Odegaard that's the judge to be a free kick and Odegaard's saying I got the ball but referee Pawson says yeah but you used your hands so it's a free kick to Tottenham yeah he blocks off Saar it's been a struggle for Saar and Hoiberg in midfield you feel sorry for Saar he's coming in obviously playing in his probably first North London derby and it's been a struggle for both of them in midfield though and it's been a struggle for the whole team yeah look at Saka has. again brilliant and Saka where it was fouled fouled there by Sessegnon has stayed down actually but uh, referee Pawson played the advantage they're having a look at Saka who has stayed down even though Arsenal were coming forward Sinchenko's put it out for a throw in on the far side yeah yellow card yellow for card. Sessegnon yeah. but that's been that's it that's just building up of fouls that's about four or five fouls so I, I expect changes in the second half because if you're going to keep Sessin Yon Yong, Saka is going to cause him a lot of problems, especially being on the yellow card. Just caught his standing foot, yeah. Sessin Yon, as he came in, nowhere near the ball. Uh, full time also in the Rugby Union in the Champions Cup. Rassing 92 30, Harlequins 29. So Tottenham 0, Arsenal 2. And uh, Arsenal go all the way back, Saka. He's okay. He's taken some. He's taken one or two hits in yes. the first half as well, but he's been involved in both goals. And Saka now, nice touch that. But in slides Eric Dyer. He almost took out Saar as well, his teammate. And Odegaard plays it forward. Sessegnon steps up, and Tottenham have got it back. So uh, we're well into those two minutes of added time now. Longley carries it forward. Tottenham were able to get one back before half time that would be an almighty bonus for them Kulisevsky though couldn't keep it however Hoybiez won it back from Zinchenko Hoybiez trust Kane with a header and Ramsdale was able to get something on it I think possibly his left leg straight at him and deflected it wider than the opposed and they very nearly did Tottenham yeah it's a good save it's a very good save it's a great run from and a great ball from Hoiberg but you know why that is John he goes and press Sinchenko doesn't drop off goes and press great ball good save from Ramsdale just a little glance Kane got himself in there and it was his right arm actually down in front of his legs that he saved it with here's the corner deflected out Hoibier takes it down volleys it well wide oh, well he gets, wide he, oh. he thinks he but gets he was leg caught and the, I think he's given the penalty has he given it? I think he's given it Hoibier hit the shot I'm not sure if he has I think they were appealing for it I thought he did you could be right John you could, you could be right because he did go down Saliba caught him late when he got his shot away yeah, I mean the the volley had long gone. Now, now did he? No, he didn't. No, he he's didn't. given. He's, he's, he's told him to, it's um blue now for half time. But yeah, I thought he did. Uh, he didn't play to the spot. He was telling him to get up. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah. In extra fact, whether the, whether there was any contact, Hoybier has really exaggerated yeah, that. Yeah, he has. He's looking for and, it. And I suspect VAR. Yeah, yeah, has, yeah. It said no chance. Had a word <laughs> yeah, and said <laughs> no way. No. Yeah. Not that one. So. Uh, so apologies for Tottenham fans yep. who might have thought there was a glimmer of hope there isn't 2-0 I mean it's hard to believe that this isn't over already in Arsenal's favour yeah it's been one way traffic it's, it's been brilliant from Arsenal Sen sensational they've been on the front foot Tottenham it's a North London derby they haven't played it like a North London derby sat back haven't gone and put a tackle in press until the last minute where Hoiberg did that Kane had a header Ramsdale save but it's comfortable from Arsenal it's been brilliant yeah, I mean that one save from Ramsdale that was highly significant it actually was. 
You're right. Uh, Just before half time, it's a big save because 2 1, it's a different half time team talk for Conte and Miko Arteta. But now it's probably the same for Arteta and a hard one for Conte. Yep, that save. And, and actually, the earlier one as well from Son. Yeah, Son, very good save as well. Right, but, but I mean, they were, they were tiny little oases in the desert for Tottenham. Spot on, John. In fact, I think they were mirages, <laughs> not oasis. Yes. And at half time, it's back to the desert again. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> so, uh, it is Tottenham nil, Arsenal two. Wow. Um, Clinton, Spurs fans knew that they were a long way behind Arsenal because the league table tells you that. But they're seeing it on paper and they're seeing it in person. And seeing it in person when it's like that is much worse. Oh yeah, they're not a long way, they're miles away. Yeah. And miles and miles away. And, he, and most Tottenham fans probably would have came to this game and thought they are miles away. But it's, it's proved it in this first half. Nowhere near good enough, um, cr Crossy. But you know what? The manager has to look as well because he sets up this team the way they play and they don't start football matches. And it's not. we're not only talking about when they're playing Arsenal. We've seen that the whole season with Tottenham where they don't start um, quick enough and then they get punished and then they can come back because it's a lesser team. But you're not going to be able to do that against a good Arsenal team. It, it's almost not worth analysing the Hugo Lloris error because as bad as it was, you know, they were already massively on the back foot and it could easily be more than two anyway. It was a bad error, but, you know, yeah, this is always in right. the pipeline as soon as they kicked off, basically. Yeah, it was a bad error, but you, you want to try and keep it as tight as you can. And when that, that happens, it does have a, a negative effect on the whole team and the confidence can go low. And that's what you can see what's happened. It's filtered through because after the first five minutes, Tottenham has started well. And you've got to really... Hugo Lloris, he made two other good saves. So it could be four or five. You're, you are right, Crossy, but that's a huge mistake. Can't make big mistakes in big games like that because you get punished. And, and the Partey shot, John, it reminded me of um, a Paul Scholes volley at Villa Park going back quite a few years. One of those where it drops out of the sky and that one went in. This one was inches away. What it one of those that I think when uh, when they're looking at it on the television in the analysis they might do this on match of the day too tonight one of those where they measure the speed of it yeah, yeah. yeah. to find out how how hard it was hit uh, and what it, what's the record Steve do you know is there, is there a record for that or not you're expecting you're the one with the ledger John <laughs> <laughs> well, someone will to, find you out to, you might have to go to hotshot Lorimer maybe <laughs> yeah for, uh, for that yeah, we'll find if, out. If you want to go back beyond <laughs> 1992. Always. You know I love to do that. I, I said it's pointless focusing on Lloris, given just how dominant Arsenal have been. But actually, a lot of the messages we're getting in are about Hugo Lloris. So I'll read you some of them. To 85058 and at 5 Live Sports. Steve says, Lloris costs us another goal. How many errors do we allow before we accept that he's passed it? Must sign a replacement in summer. Uh, Jay says, I love Lloris, but he has to go now. Every big game, he makes a mistake and it costs us points. You never see these mistakes when he plays for France. Although, uh, ironically, he is a World Cup winning goalkeeper he did make a horrific error in the World Cup final for France so it, it, there is a thing there Clinton it, it does seem to happen to him more often in the really big games I think yeah and, and you're thinking why because he's got the experience he's won everything won World Cups he's won quite a lot of stuff in his career so you are surprised but it does cost you in big games he, do, he has made a lot of mistakes recently in the big crucial yeah, games rather, and that does cost you doesn't it John rather rather bitterly of course the one that he didn't make a mistake in. yeah it was well, the exactly. only important one yes. in the World Cup yeah he yes. didn't make a mistake there where probably most England fans would have wanted him Kel Surprise as he might say Kel Surprise <laughs> to and, and just to um, uh, fast as fingers first uh, goes to uh, to Nick our producer here today who has who tells us that David Hurst claims to have hit the Premier wow. League's hardest ever shot against Arsenal back in 1996 at a speed of what do you think Clinton how fast how many miles 70, how many miles 70, an hour? 65 70 miles an hour don't tell me it's more Steve, than that Steve? Uh, I reckon it'll be more than that I reckon it's gonna be an 80 mile an hour shot. 85 then, it's I'm changing. It's claimed that it hit the crossbar at 114 miles an hour. No way. Stewards <laughs> inquiry on that one, Crossy and John. I'm not having that. <laughs> did John Murray just do a Premier League era stat, by the way? Yes, he did. <laughs> he's speechless. He can't believe he's done it. Uh, he's John, handed, he's handed to me. <laughs> John Clinton, thank you very much indeed. Wow, Cheers. what a first half. Arsenal dominant. Spurs nil. 
Arsenal 2. A Rangers on the way to the final of the Scottish League Cup. Ruddy for so. We're into injury time of the first half of extra time and Rangers are leading by two goals to one. Remember Aberdeen took the lead through Miofsky just before half time. Ryan Jack brought it back to level for Rangers. Uh, Stewart, the Aberdeen captain, got a red card and was sent off. Right of Rangers, who came on as a 90th minute substitute, set up Kemar Roof to put them ahead. Rangers are basically playing keep ball. We've, uh, uh, we've had a couple of announcements, incidentally. First of all, to tell us that VAR was broken and wouldn't be used anymore during the game. And then a couple of minutes ago, to ironic jeers, they told us it was fixed. So it's back on again. Not that it stopped it, but this is life in the VAR age. Yeah, tell me about it. Roddy, thank you very much. Um, so the football scores so far today. Chelsea won Crystal Palace nil. Newcastle won Fulham nil in the Women's Super League. Uh, Arsenal won Chelsea won Everton 3, Reading 2. Manchester United 6, Liverpool nil, And Leicester 3, Brighton nil. We'll bring you reaction to as much of that as we can fit in. We'll speak to Robbie Savage as well because we've got 606 on the way once we're done at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. The lines will be opening up 08085 909 693. Get your call booked in. Lots of reactions to come after the news with Stuart Clarkson. Listen on BBC Sounds. This is BBC Radio 5 Live. The bodies of all but four of the 72 people on board a plane that crashed in Nepal have now been recovered. The flight was coming in to land in the tourist town of Pakara. It's the worst airline disaster in three decades in the country. Police here say they're working round the clock to find the gunmen behind yesterday's shooting in central London. A seven-year-old girl remains in a critical condition in hospital after being shot outside a church near Euston Station. Five other people were also injured. Officers say a shotgun was fired from a moving black Toyota as mourners left a memorial service. And a British woman has died after getting caught in an avalanche on Mont Blanc in the French Alps. The 45-year-old was hiking with two other people when it happened yesterday. As Keir Starmer says he doesn't believe 16-year-olds should be able to change their legal gender, the Labour leader has voiced concerns about legislation passed in Scotland last month which streamlines the process and lowers the minimum age limit from 18. Five Live Breakfast. There will be more teacher strikes in Scotland on Monday. The deadline has passed for a new pay offer to be made. Leanne Maguire is chair of Glasgow City Parents Group. We had the industrial action before Christmas and it was all a bit more light-hearted, I suppose, well, from the parents' perspective. And it was seen as just one day and it caused a little bit of disruption, but people coped. But going into the new year, I think the balance is just slightly tipping. Some news just in. The UK's economy grew by 0.1% between October and November according to the Office for National Statistics. Fliss is here. We were expecting a shrinking of about 0.2%. We've got this growth of 0.1%. It's really interesting. Or maybe it's just me. I love digging into this stuff. Rachel Burden and Rick Edwards. Five Live Breakfast. Weekday mornings from six. This is Five Live Sport with Steve Crossman. Uh, it's half time in extra time in the Scottish League Cup semi final. Rangers still leading 10 man Aberdeen by two goals to one. Right, let's rattle through some reaction. Earlier in the Premier League, Chelsea ended a run of three defeats in all competitions with a 1 0 win over Crystal Palace, thanks to a Kai Havertz winner. And he's been speaking to John Saffel. A precious win. Um, how important is that for, you know, for everybody, for you, for the players, the manager? Yeah, very important, of course. You know, um, um, the last couple of months were tough for us, but we needed to win today to. Um, yeah, get just a positive uh, feeling and we did it and no matter how we got the three points and that's important. As players, how have you coped with it, dealt with it? You know, it's um, about sticking uh, about sticking together, all together, like the players, the fans, everyone, you know, from outside it's not easy because we know we get a lot of pressure and uh, of course we take the responsibility for the performances but um, it's not always that easy so yeah, um, I think in general it's just a, a strange year for us. Yeah, and obviously the longer it, it, that run went on, is it mentally, confidence-wise, does it affect that? Yeah, I mean a bit of everything. You know, we had so many changes um, in the last couple of six months maybe, even at the beginning of the year, you know, very many new players, new or a lot of injured players. I, I think it's now 10 or 12 injured players and we have um, young players who are coming in so it's a completely new new team so we have to adapt to that and um, you know on the pitch right now are not the most experienced players we cannot forget this so you know everything is just uh, a bit strange this year. Kai Havertz with John Southall who's also been speaking to the Palace manager Patrick Vieira. Losing the game is quite really harsh on, uh, on the players on our team we did enough to at least get the points today. I think uh, we went face to face, toes to toes against them. 
we created some really good chances. The keeper makes some unbelievable save, and that's why I don't believe that we deserve losing that game. I think we did enough to take a points today. I noticed on the monitor you had a chat with the, the officials at half time before you went back out. Obviously, you got the yellow card. So what was what was the issue there today with the officials? The issues was to be clear with the referees that you know on the football field there's two teams and two teams deserve to have the same kind of respect and to be fair I don't think the referee give us the respect that we deserve on the field and that was my frustration. In what way do you think he didn't it give you that respect? It happened too many times, it happened in the games today, it happened in the last couple of games that we played. We know that we are not a big club but we deserve respect and when we are on the field referee has to be uh, neutral as the best as he can. So you're saying that they're not giving you decisions you should be getting? or what, what I just you? say to you that when there is a yellow card from one team, it should be the yellow card for the opposition team when they're making the same foul. When we're making a foul and the opposition team make the same foul, it should be a free kick as well. So there is the rules for both teams and enough is enough because I think it happened too many times in the last couple of games that we played that referee they don't show us the respect that we deserve. So you think referees are favouring the bigger sides? I just don't say that. You say it. <laughs> Uh, that was very interesting. Patrick Vieira there with John Southall. I have a feeling, though, there'll be more callers from North London than West London to 606 tonight. 08085 909 693. Robbie Savage is with us. Afternoon, Robbie. How are you, Steve? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm just, just wow. really shocked. Shouldn't be shocked, really, because the league table tells you how far Spurs and Arsenal are apart. But when you actually see it in front of you, it's something else. Oh, Arsenal, incredible. What mm. a performance that has been. Spurs, terrible. Listen, no surprise, you know, from Spurs, you know, when they were chasing Leicester for the league title, they finished third in the two-horse race. Um, so no surprise from Spurs there in that performance. But Arsenal have been absolutely fantastic. Eight points clear. That Was it one defeat only this season? Yeah, to United, wasn't you know, it? Every yeah. test they've come, you know, the defeat at United was poor, but they were the better team in that game. Yep. Every test they've had, and people are saying, you know, they're not going to do it. They're not going to do it. They keep getting th through through those tests. And this one is a huge one. Listen, they are now firm favourites to win this game to win the Premier League. No question about it. And if they don't do it from here and they win this game, you've got to say, got to say they'd have bottled it. Well, I mean, I thought you'd throw that in at the end. <laughs> That'll get people calling in. Well, you got to. Eight points clear at this stage. But it's not, even, it's not even the halfway point of the season for them. That's the only games, thing. Isn't it? Oh, this is their 18th halfway. game today. Yeah, yeah. This is their That's 18th good. though, isn't it? Very good point, Steve. You are factually correct. That's maths, mate, isn't it? Uh, yeah, factually but correct, Steve. the thing is, I was looking at it today, you know, so they're, they're going to go, by the looks of it, unless something remarkable happens, eight points clear. And I know mm. why you say that, because I know it's not yet the halfway point of the season, but they've only dropped seven all season. Incredible. <laughs> what, unbel what Arteta's done is un. Believable. You've got to say, and you've got to say as well, after yesterday, Man United can win the Premier League. I think if Arsenal win today, it's theirs to lose. Man United can win it. City aren't playing well. I think they've got Spurs on Thursday night. I think United go to Crystal Palace. Listen, I think United play um, Arsenal. Is it next weekend or, or, or yeah, or next Sunday? Soon? Next Sunday. So many big games around the corner. But this this race for the title and the Champions League, Newcastle United. Wow. You're looking at Liverpool, you're looking at um, Chelsea, well, they're on 28 points each, Newcastle 38. Yeah. If Newcastle don't get in the Champions League places now, wow, again, not good enough. Well, uh, from where they are, let's be fair, it's unbelievable. 08085909693. I think you've lit the fires there, Robbie. I think that'll do the trick, one won't more, it? One more, one more. Go you on. know, Jed, Jed um, our groundsman, is absolutely outrage he said it's the worst decision he's ever seen in the history of the Premier League yesterday the offside oh, the he's going to ring one. up he is, he is fuming At, worst decision in, he, in his words Premier League history tell you what I need to get that groundsman down to Hampden Park because he looks absolutely shocking the pitch uh, this afternoon we'll keep you up to date with uh, extra time going on there Robbie thanks have a good show Mate. Uh, Robbie Savage with Chris Sutton for 606 08085 909 693 once we are done at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium it has been a remarkable first 45 minutes uh, Richarlison is currently warming up on the touchline 
I think they're going to need more than him. Uh, other scores so far this afternoon then in the Women's Super League. Arsenal 1, Chelsea 1, Everton 3, Reading 2, Manchester United 6, Liverpool 0. Uh, Leicester beat Brighton by three goals to none. There is a 6.40 kickoff, which is West Ham against Manchester City. Big win for England in the netball this afternoon. 63-59 in the final match of the three-match series against Jamaica. Uh, that means they won that by three games to two. And in Rugby Union, in the Champions Cup, Cass 21, Edinburgh 30. 34, Racing 92, 30, Harlequins 29, London Irish beats, uh, sorry, lost to Stormers 14, 28, and in the Challenge Cup, Cardiff Rugby 42, Newcastle 10, and Bath 23, Toulon 35. We're ready for the second half. Spurs have got a lot to do. Clinton Morrison's with John Murray. Well, Clinton is currently wondering why Antonio Conte has not made any changes at half time, which is a very good question with Tottenham 2 nil down in the North London derby to Arsenal and you know almost a feeling of apathy inside the ground when Arsenal's players trotted out into the into the cold winter air here you know barely a boo actually was, was mustered by the Tottenham fans and many of them I think are still on the concourses enjoying the uh, the, the the drinks at the the lovely attractive bars inside the ground because there are still lots of empty black seats that have not been filled for the start of the second half with uh, Arsenal in almost complete control. So the teams, as they started the match, Tottenham playing the ball forward with Sessegnon, who wins a throw-in halfway inside the Arsenal half. So Tottenham with Loris, a scorer of the own goal from Saka's cross, which started the scoring. Then Romero, Dyer and Longley, Doherty and Sessegnon wide, Saar and Hoibier, the two central midfielders, Saar's first Premier League start, not proving to be one for him to remember and then Kulusevski, Son and Kane both Son and Kulusevski Son and Kane have forced saves from Ramsdale but those have been the only chances Tottenham have had and Arsenal who were on the back foot having to defend as Tottenham played up towards Kane Kane turns but Granit Chaka was there and blocked the attempted pass by uh, Harry Kane and Arsenal have got it back with Zinchenko so the Arsenal team Ramsdale in goal White, Saliba, Gabriel and Zinchenko, Party and Chaka, Saka, Odegaard, Martinelli and, and Ketia. So uh, Arsenal coming forward dangerously down the right as they did time and time and time again in the first half. White and Saka together. Then Nketiah back to Saka, lifted it across the penalty area and Dyer was able to come across and just prevented it from reaching Eddie and Ketia. Arsenal come again, Tottenham the second best already in this latest Arsenal move in the second half yeah so as they go back to the halfway line no changes at half time then from Tottenham Clinton Morrison ridiculous decision you got Perisic and if Richarlison's fit enough to be on the bench he's fit enough to play 45 minutes this game's crying out for someone like Richarlison because you know what John he puts himself about not one player is putting himself about it's so easy they're so deep it's all Arsenal I can't believe Antonio Conte we talk about him being an unbelievable manager well you, it didn't work in the first half and yeah I know sometimes John you give the 11 an opportunity but it's a big game it ain't working hold your hand up and say make the changes and see if Perisic or Richarlison can change the game yeah I think there, there will be changes yeah. soon I think I mean Richarlison's there Basuma's warming up as well and Perisic but they've got the yellow bibs on at the moment and Tottenham bringing the ball forward as they play from left to right in the second half towards the big south stand Kane lays it off to Kulosevsky on the right hand side Kulosevsky into the box left foot oh. shot curls away beyond the top far left corner just needed a little bit more whip on that Kulosevsky yeah it's good it's good play from Doherty into Harry Kane and that's what you want Kulosevsky one on one with Gabriel comes inside and he's unlucky bends it just goes over the over the top of the um, bar but yeah better play from Tottenham goal kick for Arsenal referee Paulson I think is just telling Aaron Ramsdale that he needs to get on with this so uh, referee Paulson you know he's got the air there of someone who's not going to tolerate Arsenal time wasting with a 2-0 lead so they take the the goal kick downfield Martinelli Martinelli as it bounces out of play they're all, they're all claiming it and it's given as an Arsenal throw the assistant on the halfway line flagged for it Craig Paulson looked at him and he was actually the full length of the half away from that there were subs there as well and he flagged it as an Arsenal throw and you heard the reaction from the Tottenham fans who feel that just nothing has gone their way today but 
It's not been a case of that. This has been created by Arsenal. Yeah, it has. They, they've, they've forced and won the position that they're in here with their positive play. So to throw in that uh, Partey is going to take, but Richarlison is standing kind of in the line of the throw. Partey takes the throw, long to the near post. Gabriel tried to flick it on, he did flick it on, but Tottenham cleared. But Odegaard got there first. I just like Richarlison, I just get him on, John, because he doesn't, he, he likes all of this atmosphere and gets involved in it. And that's what you want, he, he does show his heart. So I'd be looking to get him on. Good header won by Zinchenko against Doherty, just down here. Nice turn by Kulisevsky, into Kane, oh! right foot shot, saved by Ramsdale. That was bang on target from Harry Kane. Super first touch with his left. Right foot shot, wrapped his foot around it, but Ramsdale diving to his right, kept out his England colleague. Yeah, it's good play from Kulisevsky. He's grown into this game. And you know when Harry Kane gets into them situations, John, it will always work the goalie. Good save from Ramsdale. Very good save. That's three good saves in the match now for Ramsdale. Keeping a clean sheet. It'll be a match-winning clean sheet. Son with the corner into the near post. Headed away for Arsenal by White. Nodded back in by Saar for Tottenham. Bounces down in the clearance from Enketia. For the, for the visitors, the Premier League leaders, Arsenal as Hoybier under pressure from Martinelli volleys the ball straight out of play and you know another little glimmer there for Tottenham but Ramsdale was able to make the save and and Tottenham because of that because of Hoybier there volleying it out of play you know whatever head of steam Tottenham might have been able to build up has has dissipated very quickly and uh, Zinchenko taking his time over the the throw then takes the throw it bounces back to him and out of play and Antonio Conte now and they can't get a ball back down there and Conte is calling to a ball boy to get him a ball and eventually one's arrived from the other direction for Doherty very very frustrating and uh, Tottenham take the throw back into their own half Sessignon forward from him Son pulls it down but uh, Saliba was very tight on Son, cleared it, comes to Sessignon, now back to Kane, oh, back brilliant. to Sessignon from the end, goal! Oh, saved by Ramsdale! He got a leg to it, which deflected it right across the face of goal and beyond the far post. Very good save, Tottenham take a quick corner though from the right-hand side, they've got the ball in the box, Kulusevski now, Arsenal have everyone back, and Ketia's up against Kulusevski in the full-back position. And uh, still Kulusevski, back to Son, Son has a look, but then knocks it back to the halfway line, groans, they wanted it to go forward. But a, a super save there, I'm not sure how much he knew about it, but yeah. he was in the right place to block it from Sessignon. Latest ball in, Romero got a touch with that with his head, took it across the box. Doherty nods it back to Kulusevski on the right-hand side. Suddenly Tottenham are a threat here, and then Doherty with a cross, headed away by Partey for Arsenal on the edge of the six-yard area. Uh, Tottenham win it back again, this is more like it all of a sudden. Hoybier lifts a high one to the back post. Kane nods it across into the gloves of Ramsdale. Clinton Morrison. Oh, he's got to score. Session, it's a great save from Ramsdale, but he has to score. But it's brilliant play between Harry Kane and Session. Really good play. And that's not a foul. And now not, that's Mart not a foul. Martinelli a foul. Has, uh, has done very well for his team here, actually. He's, he's drawn the challenge. You know, Arsenal have cleared it away downfield. He was the only Arsenal player anywhere near the ball. And he's drawn the challenge from Saar, which Craig Pawson says was a free kick. And he's shown him a yellow card. Leaned into him. Maybe, yeah, he leans arm, in the back of him. Yeah, but I don't think back. it's a yellow card. Do you? It's not deliberate. You know, John, I've seen worse. I've seen a Partey handball that he's not given a decision for. So that's the inconsistency with the referees. But Sesson Young, it should be 2 1. It's a great opportunity. But credit Rams, though. Brilliant save. But why does it take 45 minutes to play like this, John? Yeah, but how many times have we, have we watched, said it? sat here this yeah. season and watched Tottenham? seemingly out of the game before they then stage a comeback exactly and uh, you know I'm thinking of the Champions League games against Marseille anyway free kick here's uh, Odegaard who plays it in doesn't beat the first man so heads it out of play for a throw in on the left a rare off note from Odegaard so it's a throw into Arsenal it's a great you know, chance though isn't it John the, mm. the ball from Harry Kane I thought he's shooting John the reverse ball was brilliant 
But the game here against Sporting in the Champions League, when it was only 1-0, but it seemed like Tottenham were out of the game, the controversial end to that match in Marseille when we were there, just before the World Cup, throw in for Arsenal party. It's another one of those long ones, which is flicked on and then stabbed away behind for an Arsenal corner. And it's happened very often in the Premier League this season that since sometimes Tottenham have almost got to be out of it altogether before they're able to get their act yeah. together. Corner from the from the left against the leaders though a two 0 lead and uh, and the, the Tottenham fans are on to Martinelli who they say has got the ball outside the quadrant but it looks in it to me and he's going to take this this corner for Arsenal into the near post doesn't beat the first man there either and uh, it was headed away and then Odegaard just pops it out of play and then uh, running off the field Kolosevsky almost runs into well he does run into. Mikel Arteta, who manages to keep his feet in his shiny black shoes. He throws the ball away. That's what Arteta and, does. And, and Kulisevsky, uh, most other players, on. yeah, he was all right with him. He patted him, but most players would have lost their head there, John. I think of one or two who might well have <laughs> made, a, made something out of that. Free kick to Tottenham. Actually, Perisic, one of the substitutes, ran onto the field there and put the ball in the right place for the free kick to be taken. Referee Porson's got a lot to keep an eye on here. Forward for Kulisevsky. And then uh, a touch from Gabriel to take it out of play, throw it to Tottenham. They want them to take it quickly, they do. Kulisevsky, he might have thrown it straight out. No, Doherty just got there. Volleyed it back to the edge of the area. Headed into the box to Kane. Kane with his back to oh, the penalty yeah. area. Pulls out the pass to Kulisevsky on the right. Kulisevsky into the box. And the left-footed ball right across the face of goal. Beyond Kane, beyond the far post. Goal kick Arsenal. 2-0 Arsenal continue to lead sometimes I think football's crazy John. how can I, you watch a game like that in the first half where you don't turn up second half you go 2-0 down and Arsenal under huge pressure which they thought they'd be in the first half with these fans when you when you give the fans something to cheer about at this club they will get behind you been much better from Tottenham in the second half yes when I was growing up I was quite often told by a great man on Saturday lunch times that football's a funny old game <laughs> and, we, and the way that Tottenham are playing we might be talking about him yeah, a little definitely. bit later on in this match because Harry Kane and Tottenham all of a sudden since half time I mean they've clearly been given the hurry up and he didn't make those changes and now it looks like you know that he's laid it on the line Antonio Conte and he definitely. said to the 11 who started you you get back out there and you improve it and and they are they are improving it but they're, they're treading a very fine line here against Arsenal who who are well capable of breaking downfield and getting another one and that's it challenged by Dyer on and Ketia on the halfway well, line no free oh, uh, Romero's put in a challenge a off the ball tackle. on Chaka Arsenal continue to take it downfield oh lovely from Nketia right foot shot straight at the keeper though he, yeah he did so well on the edge of the box beat Romero question is is Craig, Craig Pawson going to come back to that and Romero is on a yellow card and play stops now unless he thinks he didn't see it and he's not going to Romero to be fair to you so maybe he doesn't see that he goes into him but I don't know why Romero gives him, the referee the opportunity to do that mm. well he, I think he's just taking the opportunity here to take his time and the referee even though Arsenal players three four of them and they're already on FA charges remember the Arsenal players the surrounding referees and they and they are they are all in the area he doesn't touch him ah. to be fair Xhaka jumps it but if Xhaka State keeps his leg there then he would it's a poor challenge it's a yellow card I don't under Paulson's missed that one Xhaka just jump it but it is he is late Romero and Granit Xhaka is is trying to squeeze everything out of this isn't he uh, and Xhaka finally gets to his feet and, uh, and and Romero is there and the referee is is talking to him Harry Kane is there as well Granit Xhaka standing he's got his palms apart uh, Antonio Conte is now pointing the finger at Xhaka and Xhaka's oh. turned and he's pointing the finger back at Antonio Conte and now from uh, approximately 15 yards Conte and Xhaka are carrying out a, uh, an animated conversation fingers being pointed Chaka, somebody else has put in a uh, their six penneth as well. The assistant, I think the assistant's going in, going at him. Tottenham's assistant at Jacko. Oh yes, it's <laughs> Christian Stellini, isn't it? Yeah. Who uh, stepped into the breach, if you remember, yep. before the Marseille match, when Antonio Conte was suspended. So he's had a word. Arteta's had a word as well. That that could go off on the side of the pitch. Even though Antonio Conte 
almost as if butter couldn't melt in his mouth on Friday was talking about how you know no one wants to see that sort of thing and uh, an Arsenal 2 0 up here five live in the world service on BBC sounds as well and Arsenal coming forward going to go to Hamden in a moment to see if Rangers have reached the final ball into Enketia on the edge of the box heavy touch actually and Dyer was able to to clear on the edge of the area and it's missed by Zinchenko and that meant that Kulusevski was able to pull away and take it away it's three against three and Kulusevski's pass oh. is cut out by a sliding Chaka and it's out of play for a throw and the ball boy was quick this time straight across gives it to Kane Kane took the throw half an hour to play 2-0 Arsenal lead but it's a real contest this now from one end to the other Son back to Saar and Son again 30 yards out Son who scored in all three matches that have been played between these sides here at this newly built stadium ball in from Hoybia to Kane edge of the box Kane couple of touches then to Kulusevski on the right hand side Kulusevski to Son back to Kulusevski lifted across it's reached the back Post by Sessignon stretching has actually volleyed it right across the penalty area into the fullback position and it would have gone out for a throw had Doherty not kept it in and then Martinelli plays it downfield and Ketcher on the chase Dyer got there first to stab it out of play right to Hamden Ruddy for side Rangers 2 Aberdeen 1 Rangers coming from behind the offices goal just before half time setting them back but Jack equalised Anthony Stewart the Aberdeen captain got a red card Tavalier hit this crossbar that fell to Scott Wright he played Kemar Roof in for the winner and the Rangers will be back on February 26th to play Celtic at Hampden Park Thank you Roddy so Rangers Celtic in the final of the League Cup 6.06 the lines are open 08.085.909.693 Robbie Savage and Chris Sutton taking your calls hashtag BBC 606 text them 85058 uh, read about all the events of the day and the weekend on the, the football pages of the BBC Sport website. Match of the day tonight on BBC One and anytime on the iPlayer. And of course in the morning, the Five Live Football Daily Podcast will uh, be your Monday morning listening. Here's Odegaard for Arsenal. Arsenal now to Martinelli. Martinelli weaving. A uh, path across the edge of the penalty area back to Chaka into the box to Martinelli. It's very tight in there, and Tottenham come across. And they had enough bodies in there in the white shirts to be able to get a touch. Hoybier in the end and clear it out of play. Clinton Morrison. Yeah, he keeps giving a ball to away, Hoybier. It's a simple pass to Kulisevsky. Kulisevsky's got the beat in a Sinchenko. For how good Sinchenko is, he don't like in a one on one situation. He's better going forward than he is defending but they need a goal soon Tottenham because Arsenal still always look a threat to make it um, get that third goal yeah we're into the last half hour of this derby match here at the Tottenham Stadium the, the White Hart Lane Stadium as it was announced on the train I thought I hope Daniel Levy's not coming on the train today he won't like that here's Odegaard playing the ball into the penalty area but that's a foul by Anketia, who uh, in any case shoots into the legs of Loris. He pulled over Eric Dyer, and it's a free kick to uh, to Tottenham inside their own area. If you just switched on Arsenal, two goals in the first half, a Loris own goal. If you if you know Hugo Loris, a friend of his, then I would advise you not to look up that. It was it was not pretty from the Tottenham captain and goalkeeper, and the second goal lovely finish left footed by Odegaard set up by Saka from uh, maybe 24 or so yards out fell on Kulusevski he has so to get his subs on John he has to I don't know why he's waiting I know they've been in their ascendancy but he's a goal scorer with Charleston. you need him on the pitch with Harry Kane and Perisic can create something those two players have to be on the pitch he's missed the last four Richarlison with, uh, with a thigh injury thigh injury hamstring injury and uh, you know only he will know how yeah, much of only, a risk it is yeah I know I get that John but this is a big game if yeah. he's fit enough to be on the bench he's yes, fit he's enough fit to come on for play. half an hour yeah. and he's still warming up he's been warming up for the whole of the, the first half I think as uh, Saar loses out Arsenal were all over him and Arsenal have got it back forward of the centre circle Chaka gives it to Martinelli Martinelli rounding Doherty into the penalty area Doherty went with him and got a crucial touch and was uh, just able to, to flick it forward to Romero up to Kane glances it on even though he was under pressure from Gabriel and uh, the cover was there for Arsenal 
from Party. Ramsdale whacks it downfield. Tottenham back in possession. Hi Pierre. This ball is over hit over the top. The ball for Son to chase, but it was over hit by a distance by Hoy and it was an easy one for Ramsdale to deal with. 25 minutes to play. Clinton Morrison sitting up here with me in the in the top tier. Republic of Ireland International, Premier League goal scorer. That's a poor touch by Zinchenko. The ball bounces straight out of play. Tottenham fans were able to cheer that. And uh, I mean, much more even contest in the first half. Arsenal were, were, were so dominant in the first period. But that's when they built this lead, this lead that will see them go eight points clear at the top of the Premier League. With uh, both league matches against Manchester City to come. And, uh, and it is Tottenham on the right-hand side. Tottenham go to Manchester City on Thursday night in the Premier League. We've got commentaries Tuesday and Wednesday, the FA Cup replays. And this time next week, you'll be listening, if you're tuned into Five Live in the World Service, to Arsenal against Manchester United, which looks like an interesting one. You'll hear that on Five Live and the World Service. Here's Doherty on the right-hand side. Ball played in field to Saar. Arsenal have got everyone behind the ball. Romero just rolls it back in field to Daya. Now to Longley. And now Sessignon on the left-hand side. Saka. Saka is chasing him. So it goes back to Hoybier. Crossfield pass from him right to the, the feet of Doherty. Just bounced in front of him. He was able to find Romero. Now Son just in the edge of the area. Kane in the box trying to roll the defender. But he did well, Gabriel. Uh, went down, blocked the shot. In it comes from the right for Tottenham cleared away by uh, Saliba and then headed further away by Zinchenko and then Nketiah and, and Saar are tangling together wrestling for it out of play just given as a throw taken quickly by Doherty Kulosevsky lovely footwork to go past Zinchenko and Chaka but then Gabriel was able to come across and put it out of play Tottenham are knocking gently and Kulosevsky is causing Zinchenko all kinds of problems it wouldn't surprise me if they bring on um, um, Tierney at left back because he's more better defensively than Zinchenko is Yes, Arsenal have got substitutes out warming up as well. Still 2-0 to Arsenal, Son into Romero, who could have turned there. I don't, I don't know what he's doing there, to be fair. He's a centre-half, he's yeah. playing like a centre-forward. Yeah, well, he passed it back to the halfway line from uh, the edge of the box. If that had been Harry Kane, he would have turned and shot goalwards. But it wasn't, it was Romero. And Arsenal are able to play it to Martinelli. And Arsenal could be away on the counter here. It's played away downfield by Martinelli to Odegaard, but Longley was able to come across. And, uh, and he forces Odegaard to turn. And then the ball bounces out of play. Was that giving us a free kick for the yeah, challenge yeah, on Odegaard? It was, and yep. it's taken quickly out to the left-hand side for Arsenal. Crossfield pass, bounces for Martinelli. Tottenham have got no one there at the moment, so Martinelli has all the time to take it down and find Partey, who went for goal, but he, he went for a sort of steering right foot instep finish, which, which was asking a lot from... 23 yards I, out, John, I've well just late. looked at the subs Richarlison's thrown his arms in the air said to the looking at the bench like I'm here and want to come on I, I just don't get it with Conte I don't get it I don't and he is an elite manager but he's not the Pep Guardiola's or the Arteta's at the moment that's my opinion lines are open for 606 08 085 909 693 to talk to Robbie Savage and Chris Sutton as uh, Harry Kane is upended by Partey in the centre circle, just a little foul, free kick for Tottenham. Dyer was going to, to take that long, but instead he changed his mind, played it to his left. Son, back to Hoybier. I think in a moment or two, you might hear a big cheer. There are, we're into the last quarter of the match now when Antonio Conte does make that call. Yeah. He's got his hands in his pockets at the moment. He's not going to wave him forward like that. Doherty to Saar. Back to Doherty again. And then uh, back it goes to Romero. Back into the centre circle. Arsenal. On the back foot here, but Tottenham probing away. Hoybier back towards Eric Dyer. Again, turned to his right, then turns back to his left. And, uh, and Arsenal are quite happy to sit in and see if Tottenham are able to find a way through. And they can't with Son because Partey put in the challenge and then Arsenal pass it forward and Chaka inside his own half receives the ball and sets off on a run and curls it across to Nketiah who takes a touch and then shoots into the sliding, diving Loris 
and Nketiah had time there and he wasted a very good situation poor first touch and by the time he got the ball under control Loris was able to come out and make the save yeah it's a great chance he's got to score it Nketiah he, he, he does ever, ever so well but it's a great opportunity for Nketiah he has to be scoring uh, and there's uh, a yellow card as, as Tottenham were bringing the ball forward was that was that Chaka? No, it was Martinelli. Martinelli, Martinelli clipped um, Sars' legs. Okay. But that's a couple for Enketia in the match. Had the one yeah, in the first half right. where just his, his initial touch just let him down. But um, you know he's come in for the injured Gabriel Jesus. Yeah, it was uh, Martinelli on Sars. Just seeing that as Tottenham were bringing it forward. So yellow card for Martinelli. That's that's Arsenal's first of the match. But he's come in Eddie Enketia and he's actually scored more goals than Jesus this season in all competitions for Arsenal. Ball downfield for the visitors, but Dyer was there to head it back to goalkeeper Loris. He's coming on now, Richarlison. I, I'm not, yeah, not Perisic, just Richarlison. I can see him down there just getting stripped off. Oh, there he is, yeah. 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 Lean over the, uh, the front of the desk. <laughs> he is ready, number nine. Richarlison shouts for handball for uh, a challenge by Saka, who's actually gone quiet in the game, yeah. Bukayo Saka, after a super first half. He did have that knock, whether he's been able to train fully this week. Oh, uh, poor touch by Sessegnon, the ball runs under his foot and out of play for a throw-in just when it looked at, as it might be promising and the, and the crowd are onto them. I don't, I, don't think, I don't think they did head for home at half-time, by the way. We did oh, wonder they before half-time. They, they, they just, just went to queue. Yeah, yeah, the South stands full, they were, they were only after food and drink. <laughs> So with 20 minutes to go, here's the change that you wanted at half-time, Clinton. And uh, it's Doherty who's off and Richarlison's on. Yeah, it is. And, and it's more attacking now. They're going to go for it, so it's more attacking now. And that's what he should have done. I think he should have done that earlier, but I think they started the second half ever so well, created chances, so he thought he'd leave it a bit longer. So Richarlison, who did those great things with Brazil at the World Cup, breathtaking goals. I saw him score two here against Marseille in the Champions League. But they're the only two goals that he scored for Tottenham so far, yet to get off the mark in the Premier League. Now would be a good time against Arsenal. 2-0 down. And uh, Arsenal coming forward. That, that looked like it might have been a foul by Dyer, and it is. That's where it's been given, but Tottenham are furious, Dyer's furious. And uh, actually, an Arsenal player, they've got Chaka is in there. I think Chaka shoved away to yellow card for Eric Dyer, I think possibly as much for the reaction after the free kick was given as for the challenge itself and uh, a free kick to Arsenal. Yeah, yeah, it was. I think Langley coming late on him, um, very late, and it was, yeah, it was a bad tackle. So, yeah, it was a free kick. I don't know why Dyer come in. It was a free kick. So good position and also a chance for Arsenal just to slow things down, take a little bit out of the match here, a little bit of the heat out of it. There wasn't a lot in it, actually, we're just saying it again. It was sort of shoulder to shoulder as the two of them went down. And I think it is for his reaction. I think it's probably something he said. So he's given the free kick, and I think that's for dissent. Yeah, you're right. Eric Dyer has received that. So, I mean, it's a debatable free kick. Yeah. It, it is. But Arsenal have got it. And so Odegaard standing over the ball. One of the new heroes for Arsenal. And Odegaard plays it through into the box and catch it with a shot. But Hoybier was, was sharp, he was alive to it, went with him, blocked the attempted shot right at source on the right side of the penalty area. Still Arsenal low. Lovely little ball between two Tottenham players. Odegaard gets it back from Nketiah. And now uh, Arsenal move it to the left hand side to Martinelli. Martinelli up against uh, Kulosevsky. And his challenge takes the ball out of play for what he's given us a throw into Tottenham. So, um, throwing two Spurs that Romero is waiting to take. And uh, Romero just steals a few yards up the touchline. Lines are open for 606, the five live football phone in 08085 909 693. Earlier, Chelsea won, Crystal Palace nil, Newcastle won, Fulham nil match of the day two tonight and then the women's football show is back as well with the resumption of the the uh, women's super league today and all of the highlights there as well ball long ball from arsenal all the way through to loris and uh, Mikel arteta did not like that at all i see perisic is going to come on next as well 
having made that initial change with Richarlison coming on and here is Richarlison with the bleach blonde hair the ball bounces away from him Richarlison ends up falling over and Arsenal played up to Nketa on the halfway line who was coming back from an offside position so I think we will see the, the second change now no we won't Tottenham are going to take this free kick first of all they have they've taken it short and Saar playing it, rolling it forward to Richarlison. Richarlison passing it behind Kulosevsky, but it's on his left foot, and he curls it in beyond Kane, though, and all the way through for a goal kick for Arsenal, who lead 2-0. And uh, again, referee Porson is saying, right, make the change now. And he's walking across there, Craig Porson, and he's actually speaking to Aaron Ramsdale at close quarters. It's a double change. And uh, Yves Basuma is also going to make his return after a couple of matches out with an injury. So Perisic and Bissouma coming on for... Saar and Sessegnon. Thank you, Clinton. And, and on the come with 15 minutes to play. Be a good save, this, won't it, for Tottenham? If they're able to get something out oh, of this Oh, they match. get something out of this. They've done ever so well. To be fair, in the second half, they've been good. Very good. But we, they can't keep starting matches like this. It's, it's like we're a broken record and we keep repeating and repeating. Do you Arsenal have managed it well, though, John. We were here, weren't we, for the game against West Ham when they came back and yep. got a draw in that match yeah. very, very unexpectedly. However, this is the full of confidence new Mikel Arteta, Arsenal that they're 2-0 down to and no one's expecting them to give this up and then Harry Kane is penalised for a little foul on Chaka who went to ground I mean he is a one-man wind-up merchant Chaka oh definitely do you think he's relishing that? He yeah he likes it though but you know what he's been outstanding this season though John mm. credit where credit's due yes. he is the biggest wind-up merchant on the football pitch but he's been putting in very good performances this season Did you, you didn't play against him did you? No, nah, because I would have got sent yeah. off if I played against him without <laughs> a shadow of doubt we would have had an argument and it would have continued down the tunnel would it, more yeah. than likely it but <laughs> big words big words <laughs> got to back them up I was a hot head John, I was a hot head on the pitch, but a nice guy off it. Uh, here's, <laughs> yeah, well, I can endorse that. Odegaard <laughs> now with Saka. Uh, Odegaard ball bounces towards the right hand side, and then uh, Arsenal play it back into the center circle. Zinchenko through the middle to Chaka. Chaka now to the edge of the box. Odegaard, oh, lovely footwork, and then the shot comes in from the angle from. Uh, and Ketia, yeah, and, and even kick. though the shot went in, yeah. the referee has brought it back for the foul on Odegaard. By who again? Romero. Never, he doesn't move his feet quick enough. He, he there catches Odegaard, and it's, I'm talking about it all the time with him, and he's defending. He, he might not have moved his feet quickly enough, but Odegaard was it's like Fred Astaire. Yeah. Free kick, right corner of the box. Some of our listeners won't remember Fred Astaire, but many will. Yeah, many will, yeah, many fact, should. I think, I think Top <laughs> Hat was on television over Christmas. Yeah. So it's a free kick. Tierney is going to come on for Arsenal, but this free kick's in a great position. So Odegaard is there. I mean, Chaka is there as well. He can hit them. And so it's from an angle. It's, it's what, two feet outside the point where the, the D meets the, the right side of the box as we look at it. Yeah, he's going, he, it's a big wall to be fair, so I wonder if he's going up and over the wall. Well, he's very close to go up and over, and, uh, and Arsenal are complaining that Tottenham are over the line. They have got a man lying down behind the wall if he wants to do that. Could still be Chaka to hit it, who's standing behind the line of the ball. Yeah, yeah. Odegaard's but looking at it. Odegaard's him as well. right over the ball, but he now steps away to the right. Odegaard comes up, he it's runs Chaka. over it. It's Chaka, blasted over the wall. Maybe it should have been Odegaard. <laughs> Say that now. Yeah. <laughs> right, we've got uh, 11 minutes to play, plus added time. Here's the change for Arsenal. It's Martinelli making way. So, Mikel Arteta may be doing an Antonio Conte style substitution 2-0 up away from home to Tottenham off goes Martinelli and Kieran Tina comes on yeah and I think it's sensible because down the right hand side in the second half us, um, Tottenham have caused Arsenal problems with Kulisevsky so Tierney will probably double up with Sinchenko to try and keep him quiet yeah and he's been the threat 
in the second half. Didn't see much of him in the first. But, you know, to, to say it again, Aaron Ramsdale's made four really important saves in this match. You're right, you're right, you're right. Better finishing, they could have probably got back. Yeah, they could have got something out of this. And, and those those are the words that I'm sure we'll hear from Antonio Conte when he speaks to Nick, Nick Godwin. You'll hear those interviews uh, live in 606, Antonio Conte and Mikel Arteta with any luck. So uh, lines are open for 606, 08, 085, 909, 693. Only about 10, 15 minutes away from that. As uh, Romero passes the ball out of play. Uh, and, and Mikel Arteta is asking for more from his team. Walks away from the, the uh, technical area, clapping his hands. Throwing Arsenal. Zinchenko down the line to Tierney. Tierney, it's blocked by uh, Romero and then the ball bounces out of play it's a throw in to, to Tottenham final touch off Tierney so a throw in to, uh, to Tottenham they take the throw across their own penalty area Hoiberg's in danger of losing the ball now he's been fouled by Chaka who then doesn't retreat but then quickly does as uh, Hoiberg taps it to his left to Longley and Longley slips over as he hits the pass and he's passed it straight to Tierney and then Tierney wasn't able to set through and Ketia, which he might have been able to do with a better ball. But Tottenham have got it back. Mikel Arteta, he's full of nervous energy, he's fearing a Tottenham goal as Richarlison is challenged by Gabriel. And that's a free kick, free kick to Tottenham on the right-hand side. All sorts of finger-wagging from Gabriel. That referee Porson has called it as a Spurs free kick. Yeah, and it is a foul. He catches Richarlison late. Watching the replay, Gabriel does catch him. Referee makes the right decision there. Ten minutes to go. Tottenham nil, Arsenal two. Five live. BBC Sounds, the World Service, people tuning in from all over the globe. Let me tell you, even though Arsenal have, have thoroughly deserved this, Tottenham get a goal now. It's nervous. It's it's up for grabs again. Son with the free kick, that's a good delivery, but Ramsdale diving forward, Superman style, fists forward, got a good punch on it and cleared it away, back to Son, another good ball in, bounces, takes a touch off an Arsenal head from White, out to Richarlison, clips it back in, headed away by Gabriel, comes out to Kulosevsky, takes it down, on his right foot though, works it across with a deflection, only half cleared, still in the Arsenal box, Son miscues, it's landed in the feet of Richarlison, Richarlison now dinks it across, stretching a header away by Gabriel. Odegaard can't clear it though, still Tottenham with it, Basuma, Son, left footed shot from him, that's blocked in the box, it's headed to Richarlison, low shot saved by Ramsdale. And Richarlison didn't really get the contact on that, and Ramsdale was able to drop on it to his left. I think Tottenham could be here all, all night and not score. I think they've had the chances in the second half, just haven't really fell to their main man, Harry Kane, because if they do, but it's great opportunity, good defending from Arsenal, throwing their bodies on the line as well. But yeah, you're right, John, he didn't hit it cleanly enough. No, he didn't. So Tottenham nil, Arsenal two. And here at the other end, Saka into the box, plays it across. And then Nketiah back to Odegaard, 25 yards out with Partey now, square from him to Zinchenko, left footed ball in, diving header away to uh, Hoybier, who lifts it up to Richarlison, but his header is rather tame and he's just headed it straight back to Arsenal. And now Granit Chaka has it on the left-hand side, looked one way, passed it forward for Nketiah. Not sure that's Chaka's game. <laughs> <laughs> And Tottenham have got it I'm back. glad you said that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's more of Richarlison's game, isn't it? Forward for Tottenham. Harry Kane in the challenge with Gabriel, and actually the ball's run on, and Kane's onto it, and Kane pulls it back to Son, and Son shoots over the top of the crossbar via a deflection. Defender got something on that corner. Yeah, he's got. A, it's good defending, but Son's already leaning back, and the ball's already going back. But good run from Harry Kane, a good cutback, and yeah, really good defending. But I think he's already leaning back, John. Yeah, just really fits and starts from Son again in this match, but that was a chance. Tottenham corner, however, from the uh, from the right hand side, and uh, Perisic takes this in. Arsenal are underneath it to head it away. Saliba 
Back to Kulisevsky. Kulisevsky in the box. Takes it on. Beats the first man and catch it. But Ramsdale was there at the near post. There were defenders in there and it's cleared. And that's exactly the same situation as where Lloris makes them a save. But Ramsdale obviously makes the save. Do you know what I mean, Joe? Yeah, the crucial, you yeah. know, looking back on it Moments. now. It's not over yet, but that looks absolutely pivotal. That mistake from Lloris. That, that set the tone. Definitely. And Arsenal then dominated the first half as they had been doing before that. That came in the 15th minute. Odegaard scored in the 36th and uh, no further goals since. Tottenham though trying to put the pressure on. It's with Son on the left hand side this time running at White. Still going. White's with him though and puts the challenge in. He's struggling at the moment Son. Low on confidence, can't sort his feet out. It's been a struggle for him um, recently. I thought after his goal against Palace you might see the old Son but he's a man who's low on confidence at the moment. Yeah, <laughs> Arsenal <laughs> going to make their next change now. And it is Zinchenko. You mentioned that the uh, that Zinchenko might not see it out. Um, here it is, and it's Takahiro Tomiyasu coming on to replace him. And uh, Alex Zinchenko is waving his fist, clenched fist, towards the Arsenal fans. Just while the ball's off the field, I've just remembered seeing Son. Friday's fact of the day was that when he was preparing to uh, make his way in the game when he was in Germany with his previous clubs Hamburg and Bayer Leverkusen he used to watch Spongebob Squarepants in wow. German <laughs> to learn the language wow. that was Friday's fact <laughs> of the day Tony Livesey plucked that from nowhere big fact yeah here's the throw for Tottenham then into the near post headed away by White out to the far side uh, it's allowed to bounce out of play for a throw in 10 yards from the flag Perisic takes it in Tottenham desperate, desperate to That's try and find the goal and there's a foul by Nketia just outside the box. Not sure how strong the contact was on, on Longley but he's made darn sure that the referee knew that there had been contact on him. And yeah, he missed the ball. Like, he might have kicked the ball and then kicked the man. Yeah, I think, a free kick. yeah you're right. I think Longley just gets there and Nketia gets Longley first and then a bit of the ball. Four minutes to go on that big screen, that absolutely massive screen. You see the clock tick to 86, and Hill and Ben Davis are down there. <laughs> so the next two Tottenham changes. This is, but this is, this is, this a, is the, this is the this one, John. You know a, when you get that big one. opportunity in the game, this yep. is the big opportunity. Yep. yep, we looked at each other there, didn't we? Yes. We read each other's minds. <laughs> exactly. Great minds, yeah. think alike, yeah. and all of that. <laughs> Tele telepathic you and me there you go I could have played with you then you could have big man yeah big man little not, man not so big man not so big two big men <laughs> Tottenham nil Arsenal two the uh, big man and little man coming on uh, 6 or 6 before too long as well 08, 08, 5, 9, 9, 6, 9, 3. but this is the moment Son free kick right foot from the angle up he comes strikes the ball into the wall and the big moment's gone has and it's fizzled out. And that could be the game as well, John. Mm. Tottenham not giving it up yet, though. Kulosevsky's left-footed ball in from way out on the right. That's straight under the head of, of uh, Arsenal. Low White was able to head it away. Kulosevsky coming in field, low ball into the box. To bounces all the way through to Ramsdale. And he's caught that securely. But he's done well there, Ramsdale. That skidded onto him. There were players in there. Yeah, but safe hands. Great hands. He's been brilliant. He's made two or three brilliant saves in this second half. Yeah, he has. Been outstanding. Yeah. Nick Pope kept another clean sheet today for, for Newcastle as uh, Arsenal come forward. But there's a, a poor ball from Saka out of play. Tottenham throw. And that's it for Kulosevsky, who's made his comeback from injury today and I get that though they got a big game on Thursday haven't they, they have, Man City yeah Man City away <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ben Davis comes on long lay long lay yeah. off so that's a straight swap as well and Antonio Conte there saying come on let's get it done let's get these changes done but you know they've left themselves with too much to do in the game Tottenham yeah. not for the first time this season by any means you're and, right John and Arsenal I mean what a good win this will be it's currently 14 wins out of 17 in the Premier League. Just the defeat at Old Trafford. And Harry Kane is dispossessed on the halfway line by Tommy Asu. But Enketi has got only one thing in his mind, and that's taking the ball towards the corner flag. So they know what they're doing, Arsenal. Yeah, that's clearly playing the waters there. No thought of heading into the penalty area. Took it out 
and what a throw in down the left hand side and that's the beauty of this Arsenal team this effectively is the team that started the season for Arsenal Jesus injured now and Ketia came in other than that you know consistency of selection everyone in this team knows their role and similarly how often do we talk about managers not knowing their best team yeah. clearly Mikel Arteta knows his best team and they're at the top of the league and they're about to go eight points clear. And every player knows what they're doing, John. Even Nketiah, when he comes into that team, he knows what he's, he's in the team to do. He hasn't scored today, but he's led the line really well. An eight-point lead at the top. 08, 08, 5, 9, 0, 9, 6, 9, 3. He has Kane for 6 or 6. Kane playing the ball forward to Son. Son now up against White, overlapping run. Still Son's ball and it was given up. Yeah, he's because he's offside. He's because right, Perisic. He, yeah. Son's got to do play it to him earlier. Son's saying, what is he doing? It's poor from Son. And Perisic has already yeah. made the run, John. He would have been offside. The fans, obviously, they're screaming. It's not Perisic's fault. Son yeah. holds on to the ball too long. And Son, actually, Perisic says probably exactly that to him as yeah. he runs past Son. And that is, you know, Son cuts a rather sorry body shape as he trots back towards the halfway line as uh, the ball bounces over Dyer but that's a foul and it's a free kick to Tottenham so it's talking about big leads by the way my trusty nationwide football annual yeah. tells me that in uh, in 2003 as the ball's played over the top for Tottenham uh, but Richarlison committing the foul on Arsenal with a free kick on the edge of their own penalty area uh, Arsenal with nine games left went eight points clear of Manchester United who did have a match in hand and United won the title by five points so that was an eight point lead with only nine games to play and Arsenal lost it and then uh, Arsenal were faffing about yeah, with the taking Gabriel. of the free kick so Gabriel's booked for yeah. time wasting so you can't you certainly can't count it out yet this this team this new team that hasn't won anything together yet but an eight point lead with You'd rather just be in over their position. Would, yeah. would, with just over half of the league season to play, they'll have played 18 matches after this. Tottenham will be at the halfway point of their season with uh, 19 league matches played, and this will be their fourth home defeat of the season. In fact, Tottenham will have lost four of their last five home league games, which is a, a worrying trend. Not the way you want to be trending. And now Tottenham fans have left. They've gone early to White Hart Lane Station or Seven Sisters to try and get ahead of the traffic on a Sunday evening, never good in London. And we're into five minutes of added time. Tottenham nil, Arsenal two, Arsenal songs inside the Tottenham Stadium. They've never won inside the newly, newly rebuilt stadium and they are enjoying their moment as a long ball is pumped into the Arsenal box and that's an easy catch for Ramsdale who has, uh, even though Arsenal have have dominated certainly in the first half Ramsdale's been one of their leading lights in this match oh, especially in the second half he's, he's handling he saved. saves he's important saves everyone um, looks at the goal scorers look at what he's done his contribution this afternoon has been brilliant Tottenham with the ball inside their own half but they've been able to make no impression or at least they've not been able to find a way through and now Eric Dyer, not the not the birthday he'll have hoped for and then Harry Kane has, has bundled into Gabriel and that's given us a free kick and, and Harry Kane has not been able to equal Jimmy Greaves Tottenham goal scoring record today that was that was the hope that Spurs would be able to win it that Kane would get one or two goals to maybe move alongside maybe maybe even move past Jimmy Greaves as the club's top scorer but it's not happened and uh, and Arsenal now making a double change of their own with Emil Smith Rowe coming on, making his Premier League comeback after he returned in the FA Cup on so Monday night. Now fully fit again. And uh, Ketia and Odegaard, the captain, coming off after yeah. scoring the second, what <laughs> looks as though it was the clinching goal for Arsenal, and he and he gives the captain's armband to Chaka. No. Chaka with a captain's yeah. armband on again for Arsenal. I don't think many would have seen that a couple of years ago, would they, John? No. He's turned it around. Credit to Chaka, he, he has turned it around. And uh, and it's also young Fabio Vieira, the exciting young Portuguese who comes on. 
So, deep and out of time now. Arsenal are nearly there for another excellent victory. For their first against Tottenham in this stadium. That, that will be significant for the Arsenal fans. And that's why they're singing as loudly as they are. In unison, over there on the far side, all of their Arsenal songs. There's a, there's a Swiss flag in there as well, in honour of Chaka, no doubt, which has been twirled. He's played such an important role in this. And, uh, and Arsenal with Tommy Asu going all the way back to, to goalkeeper Ramsdale. 6.06, .06, just a few minutes away. 08, 085, 909, 693 to book your call with Robbie Savage and Chris Sutton. As the ball bounces out of play next to Mikel Arteta. And his first managerial job in a great position in January. Eight points clear at the top. The two matches to come in the league. They've got the cup match as well before that. And the FA Cup on the Friday night against, our, uh, against uh, Manchester City in Manchester. That might have a bearing, you know, sort of yeah, you're right. influence on things. But, but that first meeting in the league will be in London at the Emirates on the 15th of February. Five Live, the place to listen to that, by the way, I think on February the 15th. Big game next weekend as well against Man United, yeah. haven't they, John? That is huge, to be fair, now. Yeah, and then it's the, the cup match against Manchester City is the one after that for Arsenal. Tottenham nil, Arsenal two. Ball bouncing into the Tottenham half. Ben Davis heads it forward for Tottenham. I think if they were able to get a goal now, I think we're in the last minute now, it would be too late. And I think they know it. I think they're blown out. <coughs> as uh, it's played forward and Hill, Brian Hill just onto the field left foot a ball into the box from him nicely done but Ramsdale comes and, and catches it well three Tottenham players in there but all in that mottled green kit Aaron Ramsdale, blonde haired, came and caught it and, uh, and he's actually taken a, a bang in there as well whether he has or not, I'm, I'm not 100% sure but uh, aware of the fact that the referee is giving him the hurry up he bounces the ball a couple of times and then clears it downfield and that is it the final whistle arsenal celebrations inside this stadium for the first time first time arsenal have come here and won in tottenham's newly built ground and there's a bit of bother between richarlison and ramsdale and Aaron Ramsdale, I think, is claiming there's something was thrown, perhaps, and there's a Tottenham fan come over the hoardings because Aaron Ramsdale has walked behind the uh, the goal there, and that, and that fan has been ushered away very quickly, and, and now players are getting involved in that, and there are stewards in there as well, and uh, and this is all rather unseemly. And, and what happened, Richarlison and Ramsdale were together, so whether something was thrown from the stands or whether it's something that Richarlison and Ramsdale have, have got involved in together, and the referee and his assistants are there and, uh, and Martin Odegaard has come onto the field and he's actually, Martin Odegaard has played well here he said to all of the Arsenal players who went to get involved in that come away, come away, come down and celebrate with the Arsenal fan and actually Mikel Arteta is now grabbing Chaka, is grabbing Chaka yeah. and Chaka wouldn't leave it Chaka would not leave it alone and Mikel Arteta, his manager, has actually gone in there to grab him away and drag him away and it's all now calmed down and, and I, I suspect that was all started with Richarlison and Ramsdale and what the referee, where is he? Craig Pawson. Who he is, has to have he, eyes in the back of his yeah, head, he's there in he, the middle. He's there, yeah. whether he's going to take any further action and, um, and Arteta also pulled Ramsdale away in amongst all of that as well so the, the manager playing a big part in that and it has now all settled down. But there we are. What a day for Arsenal. What a day. Another important milestone in this brilliant season of them. In this brilliant season that they're enjoying thoroughly. They've beaten Tottenham 2-0 here. And now Arsenal have an eight-point lead at the top of the Premier League on January the 15th after 18 matches of the Premier League season Clinton Morrison yeah and they probably deserve it they've done all the work in the first half John they were outstanding Tottenham were nowhere near it in the first half second half yeah Conte can say they were brilliant but when you've got a brilliant goalie in Ramsdale it makes crucial saves and, and that was the difference for me in the second half Ramsdale I thought he was outstanding making crucial saves coming and gathering the ball 
and doing what upsets up, um, opposition. So you probably can see why Richarlison acted like that at the end. But for a professional performance from Arsenal, they look the sign of real champions at the moment. Yeah, the, yeah, the goals in the first half, the poor Loris own goal, really, really bad goal that. And Odegaard scoring to make it 2-0. They've been too good, Arsenal, for Tottenham in both matches this season, actually. They've done the league double over them. First time that's happened in nine seasons. First time they've won away in the league against Tottenham since 2014. And they have now won 15 out of 18 matches in the Premier League this season. That is dominant from Mikel Arteta's team. And they have celebrated, they've enjoyed the moment, they've been dancing on the pitch here in this part of North London. Now they're walking off after Tottenham nil, Arsenal 2.